All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please let me know if you have any difficulty from your side. Uh, as you see the title in front of you, Muslims always they keep saying to Christians, one plus one plus one, which I find it very funny. And what make it more funny that it is Islam who believe in one plus one plus one plus one. Always the Muslim remind me of someone, he keep talking about people around him. He is not satisfied with whatever, whatever he see. He always criticize everybody walk by. If somebody told, he would say he's so tall. Somebody short, he would say he's so short. Someone overweight, he would say he's fat. But this guy, he don't want to look what he have. Muslim, they speak about dignity. They speak about adultery. They speak about prostitution. They speak about uh, ethic. But Islam... If we do a little examination for any of those, Islam will fail in two seconds. But the only worry Muslims have is one plus one plus one. I mean, how dare you? A Muslim, he have no problem that his religion is based on Allah and Jibreel and Muhammad, and that will make Islam. Which means if we take any of them, Islam is not exist. How Muhammad learned about Allah? Did he speak to Allah? No. Did Allah came to him? No. The funny, the Muslim, they say that Muhammad was a person who is inspired, but Allah never, never, you know, inspiration is about God speaking to you, not somebody coming to you and giving delivery. That is not inspiration. And even sometime inspiration it can be by a normal human being. I mean, like somebody mentioned something in front of me and that inspired me to do something else. In the case of Muhammad, he never knew Allah. He never spoke to Allah. He never met with Allah. So what is the inspiration of Muhammad, which the Muslims, they always keep talking about? They have Jibreel. Jibreel is the middle man who came to Muhammad and he present to him messages from God or let us say he claim that they are messages coming from God what is the proof that those messages messages come from God nobody knows do the Muslims have any proof no do Muhammad himself have a proof no according to Muslims Muhammad always imagined things, which mean he is a person who suffer from illusion. And we always, we show tons of reference of what Muslims, they themselves, they brought to us, proving to us that Muhammad is suffering from mental illness. So how the Muslims accept the person who is suffering from mental illness to be a guide for them? A person who never saw God, he never spoke to God, he never met God, and yet he might tell us about his God. The same story when the Muslims, they tell us about Jesus. Muhammad, he said, a per, Muhammad is a person who came more than 600 years after Jesus. And he starts speaking about Jesus. And the Muslims, they take what he said for granted. You know, the funny that in Islam, even marriage need two witnesses. So how we take what Muhammad said without witnesses? I saw in uh, the last uh, debate between David Wood and Mimi, Mimi, he said that he don't accept the book of John because written more than 60 to 90 years after Jesus. But Mimi accept a book written 600 years after Jesus, speaking about Jesus.
So Islam is not religion I Speak about something convincing or something real it just a person try to make a statement and uh, You know Let us let us try to shoot the football in the other side of the of, of, of the yard But nobody using his brain And when the Muslims he keep speaking about his God, which is a one God supposedly I Asked myself is that will make their God special because he's one. What if God is ten? What if God is 80? What if there's a 1,000 God? I mean that will not change anything The question or the really quick challenge is if this God is exist or not It's not about his one or ten and here again, the Muslims, they missed the point. We don't debate about your God if he is one or ten. Can you prove to us that your God, the one, is exist? Your God, the one God, based in my study, is the most funny, silly God ever. Your God is taking hashish. And we can prove it. My Skype is open if any Muslim want to call me. And actually, I decided to go and uh, do a late broadcast. I know not many people will be online. People in Europe will be sleeping. People in Asia, they are getting to get wake, wake up soon. And the only people who they are in the state or in Canada, and they will be busy with their dinner or family. But it doesn't matter, really. People, they can watch the video later. I challenge anyone to show me someone more silly than Allah and his book I mean look at this God who is one God supposedly this one God he cannot establish his religion unless he have Muhammad unless he have Jibreel it's a must what Islam is established by if we take Muhammad out of Islam there is no Islam to the point Muslims they put the name of Muhammad with the name of Allah when you take Shahada so you cannot say I believe in Allah to be a Muslim. No, you have to say I believe in Allah and Muhammad. So they associate the name of their God with a man. His name is Muhammad. Additional to that, all the book they have and the knowledge Muhammad supposedly he provide us, which is very funny knowledge. All of it is coming from a guy. His name is Jibril. And if we ask Muslim what Jibril mean, they don't even know. It's just a name, Muhammad, he stole from the Jews. A Muslim is asking how man can be God. That is a good question. How man can be God? But Christians don't believe that man is God. And that is again showing us that Muslims, they don't even know their own cult and they do not know what we believe. The same as their God who he think that the Trinity in Christianity is Mary and Jesus and Allah. Christian don't believe that man is God Christian believe that God he came to us in the form of a man So the question here can God Do whatever he wish and he come to us in a form he wish Absolutely And as long as you are saying to me how God can be man. Why you don't ask the same question to your God? This is your prophet saying it clearly that your God is short uh, with big ass and curly hair Read the hadith with me, my friend. If you like to call me, call me, so we can love together. There's a guy, supposedly he is the Antichrist, which is supposedly a, a man. He's a man, normal man, but he claimed to be the Christ. al Masih al-Dajjal. Muhammad is so worried that you Muslim Abdul, you will be confused between him and Allah. Okay, how you can be confused between him and Allah? If Allah is not a man and this guy is a man, what will make you confused? Are you there, Abdul? Why Muhammad describing the look of a man and saying the only difference between this short man and Allah is one eye? Can you tell me? Are you there, Mr. Abdul? So you school the Christians how God can be a man. We are the one who should ask you the question. 
we don't believe that God is a man we believe God came to us in a form of a man he's not a man it is God who became a man not man became God in your case your God is this is how he is he's a man what do you mean so you just say to us look at this guy you just say to us that how God can become a man <laughs> <laughs> so in your religion your God is a man explain to us your logic here we go we go with you why Muhammad is afraid you will be confused about Allah and this man and the only difference between him and your God is one eye by the way why your God have two eyes why your God have two eyes only you are kathab. Here we go. This is the hadith in front of you. I'm showing it in the screen. Guys, do you see the do you see the hadith in the front of you? Is it showing? It is showing, right? Oh, so what kathab? Are you accusing your prophet to be kathab, which means liar? Call me. Silence me. Show me. You can call Mimi to uh, to help you. <clears throat> what do you say? Ah, this is a fake hadith. Ah, I just noticed that this is a fake hadith. Fake religion, fake hadith, fake Quran, fake Allah, fake Islam, fake Muhammad, fake Jibreel. Hmm. Okay. I hope that when you go to the bedroom with your wife, and she asked you to make babies you don't say to her oh I forgot to tell you I have fake uh... I'm not sure what else is fake in your cut isn't it this is your book So you you know you accuse the Christians of something you Muslims have we don't have we don't have one plus one plus one we don't we believe in one God and this is not about one plus one plus one it's not about mathematics God is Almighty but your God is not Almighty your God Allah He squeezed Muhammad a tree time and He said to him read and instead Muhammad cannot read. If Jesus order a donkey or a mule to read, the donkey will read, even in Japanese. But because your God is not is a fufu, what kind of God he squeezes a man three times, saying to him, "Read," still he cannot read. <clears throat> Are you there? So you give us headache about a God who is a, not a man, but then we find that your God is a man. And there's tons of videos in YouTube speaking about Allah. He is a man and Allah has a body. All what you say to us that he is, he don't look like us. Who care? He's a beast. He's a, maybe he's a spider. Maybe he have more legs than the spider. Who care? I mean, this is not really an, my problem. That will not change the fact that Allah is funny and he look funny. Allah have a leg. So Allah have a body. Okay. Allah have a hand, uh huh. And what after that? Allah is a physical being. So you want to school us about who is Allah and what Allah present, but you, you Muslims, have the most funny God ever. Today, we will crave to see the voice of Allah. A prophet said, the face of Allah, we'd like to see. So, Allah has a body, but not like you and mine. Allah has a body, but not like you and mine, brother. Allah has a body, but not like yours and mine. <laughs> hey, how is your body, Allah? Muslims, how is your body, Allah? Hmm? Allah has a body. Allah has a body, brother. <clears throat> Who is a Muslim? Want 
tell us something I mean this religion is really funny same time this God I mean look if we go and and uh, uh, flip any page in the Quran we will find that this God is really taking too much hashish I don't think your Allah can even drive in the street because he will fail any drive test he will not notice what is red what is blue what is green he will go all over the place and I can prove it easy call me and we will see who is a Muslim wanna call me and show you that your God will not even be qualified to drive in a street well my friend my body is not like yours too does that mean I'm God according to science every one of us his body is not like anyone but as you see obviously he is a man because Muhammad is saying clearly that the only difference between Allah and the man is one eye this is the only different hmm? so the Christian they have a Trinity but they have God they have Jesus who make the blind see they have Jesus who make the the leper healed and the one who cannot walk walk he resurrect people from death even the Quran says that you know he creates from the mother bird you have Allah who have nothing who is this who, who is this Allah if we go in the Quran and we try to flip all over the pages of the Quran we will find the Quran saying it clearly that Allah have no miracles and then we need to ask ourselves a question why even Allah himself in the Quran supposedly he's talking but I believe this is Muhammad for sure he said clearly I have no miracles he said that chapter 17 verse number 59 we refrain from sending miracles why because people before they deny them this is a lie we believe in the miracle of Jesus we believe in the miracles of Moses we believe in the miracles of the prophets but the God of Islam he cannot do miracles so you have to come with an excuse I'm not going to send miracles because you will not believe in it anyway hmm? so you spend the day speaking about if God is one or two or three or a Trinity but we cannot find your God in your book of your God where is God Hmm? any Muslim thank you for those who say hello to me I apologize if I don't answer you you know too many people saying hi is going to be I will be an Arab if I say hello to everybody because in our tradition when you go to the movie as an example you have to shake hands with everybody and say assalamu alaikum by the time you finish shaking hands and say assalamu alaikum the movie will be over and you will watch nothing. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Can you sit down, Abdul? We want to watch the movie. Shut up, you idiot. Don't you see I'm saying Assalamu alaikum, the greeting of the Prophet? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Next. Assalamu alaikum. Sit down, man. Sit down for the sake of the shin of Allah. Sit down so we can watch the movie. Assalamu alaikum. Even Muhammad, by the way, he used to say Assalamu alaikum three times. And yet the Muslim they say that you Christians you have one plus one plus one. Hmm? Do we have any Muslim? Assalamu alaikum. By the way, even Assalamu alaikum is something he stole from the Jew. Do you remember when the angels they came to Mary? What they said to her? Shalom to you, Mary. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Literally. Even that. It is something he stole from the Jews and the Christians. When the angel came to Muhammad, according to the Muslims, he never said to him, Assalamu alaikum, which is weird. Why the angel of the same God of Mary, supposedly, he don't say, Assalamu alaikum, the same he said to Mary. What, he's coming in war? You want to fight with Muhammad? Nine thirty one. Oh, don't go there, man. 931 is one of the, my, my favorite chapters. Are you sure you want me to go there? 
Are you sure you are a Muslim? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I have a feeling you are betraying your prophet now. Because if we go to 931, everybody will laugh. In the debate we watched between Mimi and David Wood, Mimi, he said, or she said, that 4,000 years, for 4,000 years, not a single rabbi was instructed who was instructed to worship one God, he broke the command for 4,000 years. And then we see in the Quran that in chapter 9, verse number 30, it says that the Christians worship Jesus as son of God and the Jews worship a guy, his name is Ezra, as a son of Allah. And by the way, I look all over the Torah, I could not find this guy, Mr. Uh, by the way, it's not Ezra. The translation is a lie. It is Uzair. We cannot find the guy. Who's Uzair? I will shave my 20 foot beard if you come find me Uzair in the in the Old Testament. So the Muslims, when they are debating about the Trinity, they mention that the Jews they never know what the Trinity is. They never worship anyone except one God. But the Quran says the opposite. Why? Because it's a Mimi Susu debate, you know. When Susu in the stage, everybody get ready to wear a bikini. Do we have any Mimi here? So look at this here. They took, and you are the one who chose for me verse number 31, right? Look at the translation in Arabic, in English, how it's false it is. In Arabic it says, they took their rabbis and their monks as God instead of Allah and the Messiah. So what you should worship, you should worship Allah and the Messiah. And this is a statement in the Quran. Mindun Allah instead of Allah and Al Masih. But in the translation and interpretation, the Muslim they try to cover the ass of Muhammad and they say, No, 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 no. Yes, in Arabic it says that. Yes, it looked like it, but this is like a grammatical trick. Uh -huh. This is a grammatical trick. It says they took their monks and rabbis. As gods instead of Allah and the Messiah, as simple as that. Is that an Arabic mistake in the Quran? Do we have any Muslim? By the way, uh, I want to say I'm sorry for the Muslims about what happened in the morning in the Kaaba, that the Kaaba is attacked by billions of cockroaches. And I uh, I join you uh, and I request Allah to give protection to the Kaaba uh, because cockroaches can be really very hard to fight because they make their nest and they hide everywhere. And then after that, that's it. You go to the Kaaba, you put your head inside the black stone, and instead of kissing the black stone, a cockroach will go inside your mouth. It was really a very sad news. And uh, Loctos, they are all over Mecca too. I mean, they are swarming all over, you know, which is very, very uh, disgusting. And Allah is doing nothing about it. I mean, you buy you buy uh, a spray made in by the kuffar to fight the, the cockroaches in the holy Kaaba by the way why you are killing the cockroaches there maybe they are you know isn't it the Quran says that all animals are Muslims hmm? if we go in the Quran I mean how you know that those cockroaches are not coming to do Hajj the Quran says all animals are Muslim let me show you and they have a book and Allah will gather him in the judgment day. Chapter 6, verse number 38. Every, see, even including the flying one. So nothing is missed. There's not, there's not a creature in this earth. Either flying or walking. But there are nations like you and they never neglected anything of the book 
so they are believers so why you want to kill them isn't it the Quran says that Allah he made the pigs out of the Jews I mean come on even Muhammad he said in the hadith in one of his hadith because Muhammad is very smart he said that he discovered Muhammad he discovered this is a discovery Muhammad discovered nobody you see Muhammad he is like he is very unique I mean this guy he have a very unique idea Muhammad once <clears throat> he was observing the rats and he noticed that the rats don't drink the she camel they don't drink the she camel so Muhammad was thinking aha uh aha -huh. uh -huh. I don't know how Muhammad was thinking about this at that time but I'm trying just to imagine hold on let me try to imagine how Muhammad was trying to think at that time if we bring Muhammad now to think with us what will how Muhammad will appear you know it just I'm, I'm trying to think I mean okay maybe like this yeah maybe mm-hmm mm -hmm. okay I'm not sure really how but Muhammad he was thinking deeply I'm very sure and then he said to himself and to the Muslims that after observing the rats I come to the conclusion that they are Jews what Prophet what are you talking about the rats are Jews the rat the rat is a Jew yes brother Prophet how you discover this did you do like a did you study geology? Did you study astrology? Did you study astronomy? I mean, how you can do that? The prophet, the brother, he cannot even read and write. Yes, a brother, but Allah, he gave him wisdom. And the wisdom will appear right now in front of you. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So the prophet, he told them why he believes strongly. Uh, you see, Darwin have a theory. Muhammad have a theory. And obviously... Muhammad is a smarter I mean there's no question of that you cannot you know so Darwin is a donkey for me but Muhammad is not for sure Muhammad is a smarter look what Muhammad discover he said the Prophet said a group of Israelists were lost nobody knows nobody nobody know nobody know nobody know nobody them nobody man what a drama a Jews a group of the Jews they are lost nobody knows what they did what the heck how sad but I do not see them except that they were cursed and changed into rats you know I watch Alibaba and I saw many stories of Alibaba I saw the story of uh, Sindibad what they call it in English Sindibad I mean, they are close, by the way. Muhammad is very close to those stories. Look at this one. This is can fit perfectly for Sindibad or Alibaba. So, I, but I don't see them except, see, Muhammad, he was trying to find a solution where they are gone, where they are gone, where they are gone. He could not find any solution except that they were cursed and they changed into rats. Are oh, you call it in English, Sinbad? Okay, in Arabic, we call it Sindibad. <clears throat> So uh, deep, deep thinking, deep. This guy have a duty. This guy is, is a thinker. Aflatone. I mean, all the philosophers they will they are like zero next to him. Muhammad now is observing a case, and now he notice something unique, and this is why he came with this conclusion. I do not know. What happened to them but I do not see them except that they were cursed and they changed into rats prophet prophet how this happened how you know that the prophet said 
for and you know here you see the prophet is a person of reasoning not all of us can say this word for when the prophet he say for it's mean that's it this is science now you have please stop the prophet he just say for everybody shut up when the prophet say for that is knowledge the knowledge will drop like a broken tank so he said for if and i love it when he say if man this if kidding me i mean look how wonderful this if if sometimes i say matters to myself i say what if this if is not there what if this if is not there the whole world will collapse but thanks to allah we have the if muhammad said if you put the milk of the she camel in the front of a rat it will not drink it mm -hmm. but if you if if the milk of a sheep if is put in the front of it it will drink it wow hmm i'm sure most of you are slow you have no idea what he just said because this is beyond your intelligence all of you you have a low iq the prophet noticed that the jews don't drink she camel it's haram in the old testament and the rats don't drink she camel so he must be you know this is what smart people do the jews cannot drink she camel the rat don't drink she camel so the jews must be rats and the rats those are orthodox jews they are not only my friend they are not only jews they are or so dogs jews man i mean this is the real observation hmm. i never thought about this before But I just discovered it. Hmm. So this guy, he was a Jew, and then Allah, he cursed him, maybe because he did something wrong, and then he became a rat. But because he's a Jew, and he is an Orthodox Jew, he have to keep the orders of the Old Testament. So he cannot simply drink the shikamur. And this is what I call special intellect beyond mankind understanding. Obviously, this is only a knowledge come from one God. His name is Allah. There's no other God can give us such a knowledge. Now, you know, I want to practice the same logic Muhammad, he did with the Muslims. Well, donkeys don't drink whiskey. Uh, Muslims don't drink whiskey. Ah, okay. So Muslims are cursed and became donkeys. Hmm, maybe. Okay. Well, this is what the prophet logic is. I mean, I don't know. What kind of logic this logic is? But by the way, Muhammad, he have something with the cursing issue. There's something special about this God, Allah. He is supposed to be one God. As you see here, he make the Jews rats. In different story in the Quran, Allah made them pigs and monkeys. And even Muhammad, he threatened the Muslims that if you raise your head before the Imam finish the prayer, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. And by the way, I believe this is uh, a proof that Muhammad is a prophet. I saw many donkeys in the Middle East. I mean, you go everywhere, the donkeys are all over. Do you see it? Muhammad and his followers, isn't he who raises his head before the Imam? Imam is the leader of the prayer. So like, you know, you know, Muslims, they bend over, and you bend over before behind the leader of the prayer, the one who is in the front. So if you lift your head up 
before the rest lift their head up Allah will make your head the head of a donkey and I'm telling you this is true I saw a lot of donkeys in the Middle East you cannot believe it man and obviously the reason for us having too many donkeys there is what the Prophet he just said some of them they left their head too early before the Imam finish the prayer I'm sure many of you now uh, when I consider the high IQ of the Prophet peace upon him and um, I mean this is this is super knowledge you know the funny that this God he want to make your head the head of a donkey if you raise your head before the finish you pray and you are worshiping him and you are doing everything just because you raise your head Allah will make your head the head of a donkey but if you're a woman he will not make your head the head of a donkey mm. if you do child molestation uh, Allah will not make your head the head of a donkey mm. if you steal same if you kill same but only brother only if you raise your head before the Imam Allah will make your head the head of a donkey interesting I'm truly convinced that Allah must be really a very unique God we have to face it do we have any Muslim Do we have any Muslim would like to give us a call? And by the way, in case you do not know, the first Muslim who commit uh, suicide in Islam is what was a donkey. When when the Prophet died, his donkey Yafur, who is a Muslim donkey, Allah created sixty donkey of his family. All of them they serve a Prophet. Uh, when he heard the news that the Prophet died. He jumped in an empty well and he killed himself. Very sad story. Sad to say, my friend. I mean, things happen. What we can do? We pray that he will be in the heaven with the Prophet now, even though he committed suicide. I mean, love, you know, love, it's not easy. Your companion just passed away, and you know how you can stay. A life after all of this it's not easy yeah and absolutely this is a true story I mean you know we can prove it easy actually according to the hadith uh, uh, the don I have a I have a cartoon about it actually you can watch it uh, the donkey used to go and knock at the door of anyone the prophet is visiting And because the prophet is very special in asking questions, nobody asks. He cares for your feeling, even if you are a donkey. The prophet he asked his donkey because he learned how to speak donkey donkey language. He said to him, "Do you like any? Uh, do you like females?" The donkey he was really upset and he was like, like all over the place. He said to him, "No, no, I don't like females," which like looked like this donkey was agree or something. Anyone? As you see, all those stories is about the guy who want to guide us to the true God. This is the guy who want to guide us to the true God. I mean, aren't you convinced? This guy, obviously, he knew what he's talking about. He knew his business. <clears throat> Anyone who is a Muslim would like to give us a call? Hmm? Nobody. So instead of even being busy speaking about the Christians and how they are funny, supposedly because they believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, 
I mean, let us compare, my friend. You say that Jesus is not God. But Jesus, not only he did miracles, nobody do. Jesus have amazing wisdom. You're a prophet, he speak for his God, but he have an amazing stupidity. So in order to bring me a God who have wisdom, or let us say, in order to make me believe that your God is God, at least let me see something your God, he said, makes sense. Just once. If we go in the Quran, every verse in the Quran is a madness. And there's no connection between the verse before it and the verse after it. Anyone? And by the way, the Muslims always they use this uh, this verse, which is very clear proof that Muhammad he don't dare to debate anyone. Muhammad he told his followers, uh, "Why you don't? You know they asking him why you don't debate those people who they are asking you questions." He said to them, "If you see people are questioning our religion, leave them. Leave them." Until they change the topic, you can go and sit with them again. <laughs> I mean, do you see how strong your God is? Hmm? Is that really a proof that your God is God? Leave them until they start talking about something else. What about you answer them? And if you sit with those who they are asking questions about Islam and you make an excuse says the devil he made me or let's say if somebody he said to listen to those people who uh, criticize Islam uh, obviously it is the devil who made you the, forget the command of Allah that you should not stay with them after you remember don't sit with them we are the wrongdoers Any Muslim would like to say something? Hello? Hello? It is me you are looking for? Don't sit with them. So now who is going to answer the Christians and who is going to guide them? What do you say, Muslims? Yeah, actually, they do. They do sell the camel oil in the Middle East because in many places they drink it. Yes, because this is what the Prophet he ordered to do. So. And this is why um, every year, United Nations, the health department, they made an anno like announcement in the Middle East. They spend a lot of money uh, trying to prevent the Muslim from drinking camel urine because it's very dangerous. A lot of people really, they die because of this camel urine thing. You see, urine, Urine is nothing but an acid, and it is urine for a reason. That's why the body refuses it because simply it's poison. So when you drink the poison again, I mean, obviously you are silly and stupid. Uh, the urine of the camel is a lot more damaging from the normal urine because. Uh, you know, camel is an animal designed to live in the desert. 
and because of that it does not um, it filter it filter as much as it can of the water it has in the body so the camel try not to waste water unless it is necessary so his urine is very very much concentrated a lot more than a rune a urine of a, of a human being because simply he don't drink water uh, much often it's a desert this is how his body is designed so when you drink the urine of the camel you are really seeking suicide yeah it's very toxic actually anything living in the desert is very toxic you know a snake who live in the desert is very toxic and a spider and you know even a small insect if she stink you or bite you it is toxic because simply it's a desert water is not the more water animals have usually usually most of the cases the more the water is exist the more it's less poison in some cases uh, there's some animals even they live in an area have a lot of water still they are very poisoned but generally speaking it is the less water the more toxic it is going to be do we have any muslim here Any Muslim? You know, those who send me a Skype message saying, hello, how are you? I mean, come on, why do you want to do that? My Skype is exist for a reason. You want to chat to me? Chat to me in the text chat. The Skype is for those who want to call me and they are Muslims. So don't waste my time, please. Hello, how are you? Do you think I'm going to answer everybody saying hello? How are you? We have hundreds. So, do we have any Muslim would like to call us and say something nice about the Prophet and his religion, which is called Islam? And really, I wanna. I'm really worried about what's happening around the Kaaba now because of the cockroaches attack and the insects. I hope the Kaaba will not be moved by the cockroaches and they will not take, uh, they will not eat because even they have a locust, a locust and locust even they can eat anything. I mean, those hungry locusts in the desert, man. Uh, imagine the Kaaba tomorrow is naked because the locust ate uh, the burqa. Why Allah did not defend the Kaaba today? And the millions of the insect attacking the Kaaba. What is the reason? Do you think Allah is cursing the Kaaba? Because remember, the Quran says, uh, the Quran in agreement, uh, Muhammad he told a story from the Bible, where the story of Musa, that the Pharaoh he was punished in his nation by insect and etc. So why the insects are invading the Kaaba? I saw the comment of Muslims under the videos of the cockroaches uh, saying that this is because the crown prince he allowed uh, women to sing in Saudi Arabia. If, 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 if. My friend, Saudi Arabia is a country of prostitution, drugs, you name it. And now because a woman, she sing a song. Muhammad himself, he used to have belly dancers in his house. What a hypocrite people. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim? Anyone? Yeah, well, the Muslim they say that Jesus supposedly he is with Allah right now, but this is for us an insult. Jesus is not near Allah, my friend. Allah for us is a devil. So the Muslim they say that, but this is not true. Jesus is not near Allah, and Allah will never be near Jesus. Allah, first of all, is a fake God, does not exist. 
is not even the devil. We cannot say Allah is the devil because he's a fake God, he's a pagan God. Uh, but we can say metaphorically that anything, every lie is coming from the devil anyway. But Allah is not exist anyway. There's nothing is called Allah. You know, not even a single Muslim, he can prove to us that this God is exist. They don't know. I mean, all what they know that uh, their prophet, he said, and their prophet, he copied from people before him that there's a God, his name is Allah. They don't even know what Allah means. Anyone? They, you know, even the Quran confirmed that this book uh, is nothing but the word of a prophet, which is Muhammad, supposedly. Muhammad himself, he says clearly, that this Quran is nothing but the fabrication of Muhammad himself. How Muhammad he is speaking that this is a book of his God, and he receive a message from his God, but yet he says to us that the Quran, Allah told him, that the Quran is the is the word of of uh, of uh, Muhammad. If you go in chapter sixty nine, verse number forty, and chapter eighty one, verse number nineteen. Both of them, they say that this is the book of a man. His name is Muhammad. Do you see it? This is indeed the speech of generous prophet or messenger. Who? Oh. What messenger? This is the word of a messenger? So you lie to us and you say this is the words of God? Where is the word of God? If this is the word of the messenger. And then here it says that if Muhammad is lying, we are going for sure to cut his artery. Do you see it? If Muhammad is invented any Quran, Allah is going to cut his artery. And this is exactly what we see in the hadith. Muhammad he said that he was dying from poison and right now he feels as if his artery is cutting off. The Quran confirmed that if Muhammad is fabricating anything about God, if he is inventing stories about Allah, supposedly, Allah will punish him and he will cut his orta. But guess what? Muhammad died by such the same way he said, if he is a liar, he will be punished in such a way. And here you notice that when when Muhammad he said that somebody might say okay the Quran says if Muhammad is a liar Allah will cut his order and now you are saying that this is how Muhammad he dies so obviously Allah is God and Muhammad is a false prophet right no I believe what happened that our God the true God is the one who made this happen to Muhammad and even he made Muhammad say this in order to get himself busted right well somebody is speaking about one plus one plus one to me in Skype my friend we are just answering the Muslim this is what the Muslim say one plus one plus one but you can you can they can say whatever they want for our God is Almighty he can be as he wish Who can make God limited in his ability? Who? A Muslim Abdul? If they're God, he cannot be. Our God, he can. <clears throat> you see the Quran says, how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? 
Well, Mary in the Bible, she don't have a boyfriend, but she have a son. So the God of Islam confront us that he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend, and this is chapter six, verse one hundred one. So what what is required for Allah to have to be able to have a son is to have a girlfriend. That is Allah. Jehovah, the God of the Christians, is Almighty God. He do not need a concert because this is not about something sexual. And obviously the God of Islam, he is seeing things in a sexual way because he is not God. He don't understand even what the Christians believe in. The Christians don't believe that God, he have sex with Mary and they have a son, his name is Jesus. So when the God of Islam, he says such a statement, he got himself busted because in the same book of the Quran, it says that Mary, she have no man, yet she gave birth to a child. His name is Isa. So how in the same book you say, how God can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? And in the same book, it says Mary, she have no girl boyfriend, but she have a son. And notice with me here. The one who is questioning the ability of the God of Islam is the God of Islam himself. And I believe here, this is Muhammad fabricating this verse. How can he have a child? You see, how can he? I mean, this is the most silly argument ever. Because if we speak about God, then either we believe that God is almighty and he can do whatever he wish. Or we say that this God is not almighty and there is things he can and things he cannot. I can say how can he, such a question for a human being like me, how I can have a son if I don't have a woman? Because I cannot. It's not because I don't wish to have maybe, but because I cannot, even if I wish to have, still I cannot do it. So when the Quran says such a statement, Questioning the ability of God using that logic, the Quran proving to us that the God of Islam cannot be called Almighty because Allah Himself, supposedly speaking here, questioning His ability of what He can and He cannot. I can say how Jesus can make the blind see if He is just a man, how can Jesus walk in the water? How Jesus can tell you what you had in your house, as the Quran said. How Jesus can resurrect people from death. How Jesus can stay alive for 2,000 years until now. How can he? So what is the logic here to say how can he? That is a stupid logic. Very stupid logic. So we as a Christians, we believe in the Trinity, for our God is almighty. And he is able to be whatever he want can god come to us as a man if you say he cannot that mean he cannot be god can god appear to us in the form of a light yeah he can if he cannot that means he is not god I mean, what make God God? If you strip the power which God he has, then he is no God. Obviously, your God as a Muslims cannot be God. And look here in the Quran what it says. <clears throat> uh, the Quran always speak about someone other than Allah. To make it simple, if the one is talking here in this verse is Allah, then how the Quran says, how can he? Why Allah don't say, how I can I? Who is he? Who is talking here? If you ask the Muslims who is speaking here, they will say to you, Allah. So why Allah keeps saying, how can he? And then continue saying, such is Allah, your Lord. So who is talking? They will say to you, Allah. So Allah is saying, such is Allah. 
that is your Lord that's your God Allah and by the way many naive they think that the word Allah is a word meaning God and actually I heard it from Christians who they are educated too but I don't blame them they are copy paste Allah is not a name of the God of Islam it is two words one of them is a name and the other one is a word meaning God this is how the name of the God of Islam is written we will use the empty space in the screen so you can see with me what I'm going to do all right Allah is as the following L and then La L in the old ancient Akkadian or Aramaic language, even in the Hebrew, is a word mean God. So this L is a word mean God, and that is the name of the God. Mistakenly, people think that both are one word. They are not. The same as many names, even in the Bible, you say Gabriel. Gabriel is not one word. Israel is not one word. So in the old days, El, it was Al. Il, it was Al. So this is here simply replacing Il. Il sometime appear in the front of the name, or it can be at the end. So sometime it is at the end, sometime at the at the end. Usually, most of the time, it is at the end. Uh, if you go. Just to give you an example about Il and Al, the Quran full of the name of Gabriel, right? Gabriel, Gabriel is Gibra Il, right? Which is an angel belong to the God Il, the mighty Il. Now, if we go in the Quran, we will find the following. <clears throat> If you go to chapter fifty three, verse number nineteen, do you see with me how before the names there is a L? Alat and Al Uzza. Al Lat is Lat is one of the daughters of Allah. They are goddess, female female daughters. So Al Lat, God Lat. Al Uzza is God Uzza. Are we clear about that? <coughs> My friend, the one who keep texting me, I am not counting God in number. I'm answering the Abdul, my friend. Please leave me alone. I don't count God in number. I am answering the Muslim Abdul who keeps saying one plus one plus one. Since when we count God by number? Can you leave me alone? I mean, what's wrong with you Christians? Aren't you, isn't it clear I'm, 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 I'm answering the Muslims? Do you think really I believe that one plus one plus one? Isn't it obvious that Christian Prince is refuting the Muslims? This is what the Muslims they say to us. So if I say in the title, the funny Christians, one plus one plus one, but you know that this is a Christian Prince who always get the Muslim busted. And you are going to school me in that Skype telling me what to say? 
What's wrong with you? Do you think really I need your education? We don't believe in the garbage. We don't believe in numbers. I don't believe in one plus one. I don't believe in one X one X one as many Christians they say. What one X one? Both of you are being funny. There's no plus. There's no plus. You are the one who's adding plus. So the Muslims are being naive, the Christians they are being naive, and both of you are being naive, answering yourself in the wrong way. What bless? We don't believe in bless. We believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God. Not one plus one plus one, one God. There's no plus between. <clears throat> if you answer the Muslim in the same logic, the answer is mean they fool you and you fell into their trap. Since when we can you know since, since when God is about mathematics, one plus one or one x one? What does that mean? What one x one? What about we make it zero x one? <laughs> I mean, sometimes the Christians they come with a solution to to make it uh, to make the Muslims understand. But they, they, no, you are making them more confused. When we believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, we don't. We are not believing in three gods. We believe in one God. You know, I always explain the Trinity in a very simple way. But the Christians, when they try to explain the Trinity, most of them, instead of explaining it, they make it. They make you confused. So you better not to, even to listen to them. You have in the sun, you have the sun in, in the sky. And the sun provides us with the heat and the light. How we recognize the sun? We recognize it by the light and the heat. But the lead, the, the, the heat is, is, is something really, uh, it's something even physical. But we cannot see but yes it's a power it's an energy but we cannot see the light is the same it is something powerful and energy but we can see so if we speak about the sun the sun is recognized by the light and by the heat Which means if there's no light from the sun and there's no heat from the sun, we will not be able even to see it. The only reason our sun is recognized by us because of the light. And secondly, the light brings heat. So the light accompany, accompanied by the heat. But the heat we cannot see. And the light we can see. The light is a light by itself. And the heat is heat by itself and the Sun is a Sun by itself but it's still at the end of the day the heat and the light and the Sun is one is it really complicated a Muslim is worried about how <clears throat> how God became a man and they say to you that a man is not just he is dirty human being God is holy but when the light goes inside even a dirty water which one is going to win is the dirty water going to make the light dirty or the light is going to kill the bacteria and make the water clean obviously it is the light so the holiness of God cannot be infected by anything when a Muslim he speak about how God can be a man, he is speaking about his God because obviously his God can be infected. His God is not holy, so if he became in touch with any nature creature, 
he became unholy you see the Muslims they have many stories they copy from the Old Testament <clears throat> but sadly they don't think about the stories they have if we go in the Quran we find this <clears throat> when uh, supposedly when Musa says when Musa arrived to the fire which he saw from far away and this is a story Muhammad he stole from the Old Testament he was called from the right side of the valley of the blast in the blast field look with me here uh, what the Quran is saying the blast field and then it says from the tree O Moses, I am Allah, the Lord of the world. Okay. Why the tree is located in a bluss in the blustered ground? Actually, it doesn't say even field, it says al-Buqa al mubaraka which means the blustered ground. Why this ground became a blust? Simply because the Lord supposedly is there So look how hypocrite they are in their logic Allah he just Spoke from that place and that place became holy And that place is a physical place there's a tree and tree there's birds they go and do poo, -poo in it so just because God he spoke from the tree that location became holy what about Jesus here you see the hypocrisy and the ignorance of the pro of, of the Muslims in their books and by the way Muslims are not better than Muhammad because Muhammad himself is a thief and he don't understand this his own logic what he what even he wrote in his book you just confirm to us that it doesn't matter where God is, wherever He go, it is going to be holy. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so Jesus, if He is just a, a form of a man, and God is speaking with Him, this man, well, obviously, this will be a holy ground. For God is there. Any Muslim? And by the way, uh, if we ask Muslims here, is the voice of Allah? Was speaking from the tree or only only the voice or Allah was in the tree if you say to me that the voice was only from the tree that's mean the voice of Allah is separated from Allah who was in the tree it says it from the tree from the tree Any Muslim? Your God, he can speak to Musa's from the sky. Why he's speaking from the tree? What is a tree? And actually, Allah himself, actually, he compared himself to a tree in the Quran. He compared himself to a tree. And the funny, the Muslim, they say to us that Allah, nothing like him. If nothing like him, how himself, he compare himself. To a tree 
and there is a lamp in that tree Allah is the light of the heaven and the earth the similar of the light of his light as a niche wherein is a lamp and the lamp is in a glass and the glass is is as it were shining star this lamp kindled from a blessed tree what the light of Allah is the same as a lamp his oil is coming from a tree any Muslim want to say something how the light of Allah is coming from an oil made from a tree I thought Allah he is the source of light but here based on this Allah is just a lamp who run by oil did you guys do you understand what is the danger of this comparison the one who made the Quran here he made a stupid explanation because if Allah you see when Moses asked God in the Old Testament what God he said to him Moses he said to him what I will say to my people he said to them I am I am who I am that's it you know which mean I am exist by myself this verse proving to us that Allah doesn't exist by himself he is comparing himself to a lamp and this lamp is taking its oil from a tree so what does that mean okay you are the lamp and you have a light and the light is coming from this lamp but this lamp run by oil coming from a tree so how you can be the source of light because remember <clears throat> he is the one who said that he is a light but this light is coming from where the light is not coming from light you know what I mean for us as a Christianity we believe that God is light from light he is the light of the world and he is he is light himself he is not coming from a lamp are we getting the point guys <clears throat> Who don't understand me? <clears throat> if I say I have a light can, like let's say you know all days they have a, you know the oil candle, okay, and I say okay my God is coming is the same as this light, but you choose the especially here with the explanation he made it so clear that this light <laughs> is not exist by itself. This light is generated by burning oil. And not only that, this light need mechanism, which mean it, it's not just a light, free light, it is a lamp. And this lamp is an, in a niche, and the niche in a glass, and the glass is taking its oil from a tree, which is a bluster tree. So where is Allah? Any Muslim? How Allah can be light if He is just generated light? This is a very clear verse saying that Allah is a generated light, He is not light. When Jesus speak about Himself, He said, I am the light. He didn't say, I am a light coming from a lamp. I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, I am the beginning, I am the end. I am the truth, I am the resurrection. Here we see very clear evidence that your God Allah is a fiction God. Your God the same. If he, if he is a light, okay. If I if the oil is stop coming from this tree, the light of your God will stop. Where where the where the light is coming from? Yes, it's coming from the lamp. Yes, it's coming from the glass. But as you see, the glass. Is shining as long it is oiled 
from a tree. And what kind of oil tree? It's olive tree. Do you see it? I am not the one who is making this comparison. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is tired. This is your God, this is your Quran. Any Muslim have any comment? That is a very, very weird statement and funny in the same time because your God, he just made himself equal to a light coming from olive tree uh, oil. And that means he is not a light exists by himself. He need a fuel. Otherwise, I challenge you to tell me what is the point of saying that he is the same as a lamp exists in a glass in a niche and then it's kindled from a blessed tree, an olive tree. And then he continues saying, neither of the east nor of the west, who is oil with almost a glow forth of itself, though no fire touch it. Okay, hold on, hold on. That will be crazy. No fire touch it, glows by itself, but it run by olive oil. Does it say they are oil or I'm making things up? And by the way, translation is very is very very fabricated. But we still we have to go with it. As you see here, who is oil with almost a glow. So what does that mean? Allah is the oil or he is the light? Allah is a glowing oil? Is plasma? What is the point of this uh, statement? Anyone? And by the way, the funny is that Muhammad, or the Quran says that Muhammad himself is a light. He used the same words. Muhammad himself is, is called as a, as a lamp, as Siraj. This is why the Shia, they believe that Muhammad and his family, they are not human, they are made from light. In chapter 33, Verse number 46, it says that Allah, he made Muhammad as a Siraj, which means a shiny lamp. This verse is about Muhammad. So now, most of the Muslims believe that Muhammad is not just a, yes, he looked like a human being, he took a form of a human being, but he is made from light, from the light of Allah. Muhammad, he said in the hadith, let me see if I can find the hadith in English, that he was created <clears throat> while Adam was uh, in the process of creation. Uh, Muhammad was already prophet. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, let us see. Here we go. They said, O Messenger of Allah, when was the Prophet who established for you? He said, while Adam was between being a soul and body. This guy, he claimed that he is the first and he is the last. Adam is not even created. Allah supposedly is working in fashion in Adam. During that time, Muhammad already was a prophet. Any Muslim? How oh, Muhammad, he was a prophet and Adam is not created yet. Anybody? In different hadith actually Muhammad is a different statement let me see if I can find the other hadith I mean look at this hadith here how funny it is Yeah, there's a hadith which is similar to this one. Muhammad, he said, I was a prophet when Adam was, was between water and mud and dust. Yeah, it looks like it's going to take forever to find it. All right. Now there's tons of stories about how Allah, the first Allah, the first thing Allah he did after he created his chair, he wrote the name of Muhammad on his chair. And this is how important Muhammad is. Uh, when the Quran is saying that Adam he asked Allah for forgiveness and Allah he forgave Adam, uh, how he forgive him? It says that Adam when he commits sin. Before, sorry, when he was uh, in the process of being created, he looked at a sky and he saw the chair of Allah and he saw in the chair written the name of Muhammad. So when he committed sin, he asked Allah and he said, I ask Allah to forgive me. I, I ask you Allah to forgive me for the sake of Muhammad. For the sake of what? Muhammad. So Allah said to Adam, how you know? Muhammad and I did not create the him yet Adam he said I saw the name his name in your chair in your throne and I know his name will not be there unless he is the dearest to you and then Allah he said to him because you asked me for the sake of Muhammad I have no choice but to forgive you look what the story is Any Muslim want to say anything? Anyone? Muhammad, not only he claimed his exist from the beginning, Muhammad, he claimed that even when he is dead, he's alive. And he claimed that even when Muslim they pray, all the prayer of the Muslims will be given to him. He is God. How oh, that can happen?
the one who's trying to take it to call me are you a Muslim if you are a Muslim I will let you call me if not no so Muhammad he claimed he told them that among your most excellent uh, of your days is a Friday so invoke my blessing by the way it doesn't say blessing it says Salah on me okay this guy is a Muslim hold on <coughs> Let us see what you want to say to us. <clears throat> I'm trying to call you, my friend, Mr. Abdul. Look like your internet is not good. It says you're you are not available. Answer, my friend. Are you going to answer or no? Fucking nigger, fucking nigger, fucking. <laughs> oh, that mercy. The devil, he yeah, had pain. They complain I am not calling them, but then when we call them, they don't answer. Anyone? Any Muslim would like to call us? How you Muslims, your prayer will be given to Muhammad in his grave? Is he God? Is he prophet? Is he man? How such a thing would happen? Any Muslim have a comment? And this is why Muhammad, when they bury him, they did not bury him right away. He died. They left him three days, three nights out of the grave because they believed him when he said that the body of the prophets will not decay. But after three days, Muhammad Billy started farting and the guys start coming out and his skin became blue and green, stinky. And we can sponsor all the stories we are saying. So the Muslims, they have no choice but to bury him. But in the beginning, they did not bury him because they believe when, in what he said in this world in the front of us. He told them the liar that the body of the prophet will not decay. That's why they did not bury him. Any Muslim have a comment? This is alone is enough to prove Muhammad to be a false prophet. <clears throat> And this is why the Muslims, when they buried him, they did not even change his clothes because his, uh, his skin is coming out, rotten. Is it true that the body of prophets will never be decay? 
Is it true that the prayer you pray now is going to be supplicated to Muhammad? Which means that he is your God and he is alive. So now we have one billion Muslim on average. They are praying and all the prayer of the one billion, they will be given to Muhammad. In his grave. Any Muslim? Look like we don't have any Muslim except the one who keeps saying the, the N word and the F word. So to make it simple, you Muslims, you speak too much about one God, but your God doesn't exist, cannot be exist. This is garbage, this is cannot be true. The Quran is full of errors, scientific error, historian error, myth mythology error, contradiction. Even the Trinity, your God could not get it right. Trinity in Islam for the Christians is Mary, Jesus, and Allah. We don't believe in Allah, and we don't worship Mary. The divine, the divine for us is God, one God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So your God, he could not, he cannot be God. Even all the names in the Quran are wrong. <clears throat> we do not know who is Isa. Abraham, father in the Quran, his name is Azar. Moses in the Quran, his father is Amran. Mary in the Quran, her father is Amran, which means Moses and Mary, they have one father. The Quran says that Mary is a sister of Aaron, which means she is the sister of Moses. This is why both of them, they have one father, which is very stupid. There's nothing, first of all, he cannot even quote the name correctly. There's nothing, it's called Umran, it says Umram. So how the father of Moses became the father of Mary? Nobody knows. It's a mistake. And then when Muhammad got busted, he said, oh, they used to call them by their ancestors. But Mary, she is not from the ancestors of Moses. <clears throat> Same time, if this is the case, they will call her by someone else, someone at least more closer to her. You know? David, as an example, why Moses? Why Aaron? Who is Aaron for her? And especially the Quran forbid the Muslims, and remember the Jews supposedly are Muslims too. And the Muslims in the time of Muhammad, he is the one who delivered the Quran for us. The Quran says that you call them by the name of their father. You are not allowed to call somebody by the name of somebody he is not his father. Do we have any Muslim? Every page in the Quran, every page in the Quran is a disaster. And let us make a challenge here. Who is a Muslim when I ask me to open a page in the Quran and challenge me to find a disaster there? Who is a Muslim when I do that? <clears throat> any page. Starting from page number one. Ending with the last page. Including the pages eaten by the goat. <laughs> Anyone? See, still they are scared. I mean, look how, how sure we are. The Quran is a stupid book. We are saying to them, we challenge you anything. Anything of your choice, we will show you it's stupid. Still, they cannot do it. And 
the first page in the Quran is a stupid first page as the Quran today or Quran Muhammad you receive it you see the Muslims they say that the first page uh, Muhammad you receive is not the chapter of Al-Fatiha it was the one who Allah he told him read all right chapter 96 this chapter the first one is the most funny stupid chapter and by the way the Muslim they say to you we did not corrupt the Quran so why you are adding in the name of Allah in the front of the chapter if it's not there this is addition this is why it doesn't count it's not verse number one you know what I mean it's a corruption now when Allah he said to Muhammad read in the name of your Lord in order to make this as accurate you have to give him a paper to read Muslims did Allah give Muhammad a book or a paper to read secondly if Allah gave him a paper to read and Muhammad do not know how to read as Muslims they claim who is the stupid here how you say to somebody read but you should know better that you do not know how to read unless you are trying to make a miracle as an example Jesus said to the man he cannot walk walk and the man he walk so Jesus he knew that the guy he cannot walk is not asking him to do something he cannot do anymore is asking him something to do for now he is making a miracle so when Allah he said to Muhammad read and Muhammad cannot read what the point either Allah do not know that Muhammad do not know how to read or Allah he knew that Muhammad do not know how to read either way is a stupid because here we go Muhammad still he cannot read according to Muslims same time he created the manner from a cloth but in the Quran it says that Allah he created the man especially the first man from a mud secondly we are not created from a congealed dead blood the clot here is a congealed dead blood and that is not true there's no stage in the whole embryo where we are a clot and then Allah he made us of a lump and then the lump became bones and then he covered the bones as it says in chapter 23 and then here it says again he repeat the same stupid order read okay but Muhammad did not know how to read then he says read in the name of your Lord the one who taught by the pen Yes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, Christian friends, you are enemy of Islam and enemy of Zakir Mike. Well, I'm proud to be my friend. How I can help you? I just want to know why you are enemy. Well, because Islam says kill the Christians, kill the Jews. We have the right to defend ourselves, my friend. But nobody is killing you. Oh no, they do. You know, every day there's attack on the Christians around the earth. But it's not Christian, it's the politicians that are leading the Christians. So are you saying to me you are better than your prophet now and you will not follow your prophet? Of course I'm following the prophet. No, the prophet, he says, kill them wherever you find them. So what are you talking about? Is, it isn't, was, it, isn't it your prophet, he said? Time, okay, hold on. So are you saying to me Islam fit only for that time and now there's no time for this? No, everything is about context. When you are in a context that is requiring something, you have to do it. When okay, it over, what, what was the context? Why Muhammad at that time he ordered to kill the Christians? At that time, mm -hmm. maybe the Christian didn't understand his way of so because calling them. If I don't understand you, you kill me? Is that a logical for you? No, it's not uh, just refusing, but it is uh, about contradiction. And when you don't uh, mm -hmm. agree, so now I don't have... agree. Here we go. I don't agree with Muhammad. So if I am in the exist with Muhammad now, he will kill me, right? 
No, if you are peaceful and you respect the law, it's no problem. That's not true. You know, Muhammad, he said in the Quran, chapter 9, verse 29, kill them, those who don't believe in Allah and the, and the, and the religion of Allah, from the Christian and the Jews, unless they pay the jizya. And if they pay the jizya, don't kill them no more. They are protected by us as long as they pay us. He's a gang leader. So Muhammad, he wanted to make money from us. Either we die or we pay him. So you want to live? Pay me. Do you see the verse uh, in know, front of you? Fight against yeah, you those. Know, okay. You know, in those contexts, for example, people are mixing two things. Hmm. Politics and uh, religion. So Muhammad, when, now, when, when Muhammad, he said, uh, fight them, kill them, unless they pay you money. Is that politics or religion? It's both. Okay, together. so so you so why you're a prophet now? If I pay him, he don't have a problem with me not to believe in him. If I pay him money, yeah. what kind of what kind of logic is that? Because he knows that you want peace and you want to follow, so he has no problem letting you do what you what want. What peace? He, uh, no, he's forcing me. What peace? I, I I did not choose any of his choices. He forced me. Either I die, or I pay. Yeah, you pay because you are on a land concurred by right, but the, so the, the so you take our land and you take our houses and you take our farms and you pay you make me pay for living in my land is that justice this is history logic no this is god supposedly the one is talking here is god is not is not history the one is talking here in chapter 9 is your god isn't it yeah but the okay. bunny israel was under the law of god right doesn't matter well, the, the, the Christian or Jew, anyone, why you want to take their land and force them yeah, to pay This is your the money? logic of history. They, they came out of Egypt, they conquer land, they, they settle, but maybe they fight. Sometimes they, they subdue people and they mm -hmm. form their kingdom in a place where they have never okay, been did, before. Did, did Moses say to the people, if you pay me money, I will let you live? He forget about God or he was doing jihad supposedly mm -hmm. for God? No, that was at the beginning. There were no kind of military conquests and so on. Mm. So just people okay. Let, let, me, let, 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 let us make it simple. Mm. Uh, you are saying to me that this is, was history. So what Islam is today? How we can learn the Islam today? If this is Islam? history, if this is history, what you are saying to me, the Quran now is a book of history, and we should not read it anymore. As long it just it's not about God no more. It's about history. Correct. I. You, you misunderstand me. So how we will learn about Islam today? today? I mean, uh, this is a process of history. You know, now you are in America. Mm. People who live there right now were never there. There was a, the, the aborigine or the, the original people, Native American. But now they have almost disappeared. Mm. Why? Why? Because Christian came with the logic. They kill them, they pack them in reserve. Mm. Now they lost their culture. But let me tell you something, let me tell you something, just to correct you. There's a mm. lot of Indian in America and they are not disappear. And they are minority for very simple reason. A lot of immigrants came, a huge number of immigrants. Secondly, in America right now, Indian American, they are treated a lot better than anyone. As an example, they don't pay tax. I pay tax every year. So why? Because this is their land, see? But in our no, land, no, no, in our no, land, no. hold on, in our land, you see the difference? In America, American Indian, they don't pay tax. In yeah. Islam, me, this is my land, you force me to pay jizya. So in America, they treat them betterly. They give them free school, free education, free uh, free health. Do you, free, hold, hold do on, you know on. why? Do they, you know why? They, because this is their land. Because this is their land. No, no, no. I'm going to correct you. This is mm. about what they have done in those people. There was a majority when they found them there. They have killed them, packed them. But who is forcing them to do that now? They killed them. You just said they killed them. You just said they took their land. They killed them. They can kill them all. Why now they are giving yeah. them? Why they are spoiling them? You did. You killed us. Yes. They feel hold on, hold on. That's so you are saying to me, the American, are one billion yeah. times better than your prophet. Your prophet, he killed us. He took our land. He took our women. He took our money. He took our farms. He took our animals. And then in the top of that, we have to pay him to live. In America, they came, according to you. They killed them. Huh? They took their land. And now the American, they spend their money on them. And they protect them. And they are tax-free. This is why you see a lot of Indians. They live like kings. You know, they open do, casinos. Do you, do they you make a lot of money. That on 
do you think that only <laughs> Islam has destroyed Christian? The Mongol, my friend, my the, friend, the, this, the is, the, Turkish, this is not the question. You are the one who compare, you are the one who compare. Let's compare why in America yeah. people who don't believe in Allah they are treating the Indian one million times better from you treating us, the original people who own the land, miserably until now. It's our land, it's our, uh, our soil, it's our language, it's our country. And then you come to us, you take it from us, you take our churches, you take our our temples, you take our women, you take everything we have, and then in the top of that, we have to pay you to stay alive. But you know, if you do it like this, it will never finish. Ah, because... So you are saying to me, shut up. No. Oh, you are, you are asking me, are you, are, you are saying to me, okay, we killed you, we raped your women, so don't ask for your right back, correct? No, no, you have still the okay, right. Okay, so are you are you ask are you willing to give me my churches back, the one you took for us from us? Are you willing to give us our land? Are you are you willing to give us the African the, the, their land in South Africa? The they have it already. Also? Look like you don't live in in this in, in this galaxy. They have it already. No, no, not yet. They control a little bit, but no, no, know, no. That's a lie. The, that's a lie. That's a lie. South Africa controlled by African. Not by the white people. Secondly, secondly, you are saying to me, "Are you as if I am the one who occupy it?" No, you are talking about Christian. No, this is not the thing. They were Christians. Your God, He did that in the name of Allah. Those people did not do that in the name of Allah because the the black African, course, the, the black are, are are Christians too. Of course. Okay. So the black are Christians. The white are Christians. They 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 are fighting over power. But this is have nothing to do with God. Did God say to me, "Go and take the land of South Africa"? But the first step, everything starts with the first step. Nowadays, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, don't don't change topic. Don't change topic. No, I'm if not now, if topic. now, I want to learn I'm about Islam. About Hold on, you see, you are you are trying to make it as a mist, which means like okay, Islam before and it's today, and comparing to the American. What the American even have to do with the Christians? Since when the American are the one who they are? Are they the apostle of Jesus? But they brought the is Bible. It, is it Trump? They, yeah, those are the missionary. Those are the good ones. There's bad, there's good. The missionaries, they came with the Bible, not with weapon. So the right, missionaries, have, the missionaries, yourself, my friend, the missionaries, they refuse even to carry guns, go and read history. They refuse even to fight anyone. They were, get, they were killed, the same as the Indian, they were killed. And the Indian themselves, they used to kill each other. The Indian, they, the Indian they were slaughtering, shut up. The Indian, they used to slaughter no, each other. They kidnap, they, they kidnap, they kidnap each other. They slaughter each other. They cut the head of each other. Even they take the hair of each other. So they used to live a criminal life. It's not only they are killing the, the the white is killing. If you go and read history, you will see the Indian almost they finish each other by war, before Everywhere. even before even Everywhere. the white people they came. This is not the topic. But why you are Middle mixing? Why you are mixing? Trying to avoid what your God is teaching about what a man he did. No, if you listen to me, I will answer. Mm. You know those missionary, they didn't go there by themselves. They were sent by the queen. Doesn't and matter. The king. Doesn't matter. Let us say no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let us say the American army go, now. Go, go. The American army now in Iraq, and I am a missionary. I take advantage of that, and I go to preach the gospel. Still, I am not carrying a gun. I'm not forcing anyone to convert. No, they should go with military forces to be get protection and have a no problem. MSC but they are not like the fighters, and they are not the one is killing anyone. They are not fighting anyone. So if I take my Bible now, let us say American, they have a base in Afghanistan. I take my Bible. I am a missionary. And I go there, okay. But I am not an American army. I am just a missionary. I have a Bible. Your you prophet? Did your prophet? Did your prophet come with his Quran to us, or yeah. he come with the sword? He come with both, because at the beginning <coughs> there was the Jews, the Christian, all in the Peninsula Arabia. Mm. So when he came, he found the Jews had their own society. They were for themselves, Christians mm. too. But he wanted the Arab to have. A political leader and as you say kind of uh, getting together and form a unique country or a unique ummah mm. this was so islam was aim. for the arab islam was for the arab for as jews uh, Chris, uh, christian was for 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 the jews what christian for the jews what does that mean judaism was for the jews now the jews my friend the, the, the jews they are different from anyone because jews are a tribes and they are the sons of a children of a man. That's why they yeah. are an ethnic in the same time they are religion. 
but for the Christians, they are from all kind of mankind. There's there's a there's a Greek, there is a, a Middle Eastern, the there is huh? But it starts from the Jews. My friend, you are wasting my time. I'm asking you no, now. I'm not. I'm asking you now. Did Jesus yes. says that Jesus says in order to spread the Christianity, take your sword and kill them? Both. Where it says that? Show me. When he was in the temple, that when people were trying to talk, he told them he didn't come here to bring peace over the people, but he brings the sword and war and fire. That's wonderful. But read the verses after. It says it clearly that the sword is that people will torture us, people will kill us, people will chase us. It's not the opposite. So the sword he he's talking about, hold on, the sword he's talking about is your sword. You are going to come after us. Not he is the one coming with the sword and killing. Name for me one person Jesus killed. No, he didn't kill anyone. So you are so you, you are you are taking a verse out of its context and making a lie about it. So Jesus, if he no, is no, the no, no you yes, see, no, I no, can. you don't lie. If Jesus is coming by the sword, as you say, then he had to wave jihad and he had to make an army and he start killing, but he killed no one, neither his apostle killed anyone. So why are you are lying? Now, did your prophet kill a lot of people? Yes or no? Yes, he did. Okay, did Jesus kill anyone? No. Okay, that's it. We got the answer then. So Jesus never came with a sword, as you claim. Jesus came with a sword with people. He said, time will come and people will they will think by killing you, they are doing favor to God. And this is the sword he's talking about, by killing you, which means us, the Christians, not us killing them. So you are fabricating the story, making it upside down just to make it fit with you. Now we go back to zero. You're a prophet when he said, go and attack the Romans so you can get the blonde girls. What do you say about that? Yeah, he wanted to conquer. Okay, to conquer, to get the blonde girls, not to serve Allah. When you get the blonde girl, you, you will multiply the ummah and get more people. Ah, so now you are just a fine. I can go now to your house and kidnap your wife and rape your wife and have babies from her. And that is supposedly this is a good God. This is the good Muhammad. This is what Christian did in in. America and in you see, you're li you lying again. You're lying again. Actually, no, no. actually, comes, even in Africa, comes, even in Africa, comes. even the slavery in Africa was kidnapped, tortured, sold by the Arab North Africa. Go read history. And the white man, he bought it from them. Of course, they try, they, they, they started it. I okay, so let us go back to zero. You're still comparing. You know, you are you are jumping like a monkey between the between the white man and Jesus when you no, want. It's the same we it's ask the you, same. no, no, we I'm, cannot. I'm, I'm we are talking you. about the founder of Islam. I'm not talking about you as a Muslim. The founder of Islam was a rapist, was a killer, was a criminal, was a thief. Even the Muslim accused him of seeing and the wear. I said to you, did Jesus rape anyone? You said no. Did Jesus kill anyone? You said no. Did Jesus order to kill anyone? You said no. Muhammad, did he kill? Yes. Did he rape? Yes. Did he steal? Yes. So this is Islam. Islam is not you. Christianity is not me. The founder is what we speak about. Jesus never killed, never steal, never harm. Your prophet is a thief and a killer. What do you say? Yeah, he did all this, I know. Okay, why? But why why he steal? What is the purpose of stealing? Not stealing, but just what do you mean? He, he was attacking the caravan. Attacking the caravan, traveler going in the street. Is that a stealing or not? What do you call it? This is defending his territory. Defending what? This is the people are going in the street. This is the street exists for centuries. People they go from country to country. I I, I wait in the street until a group of he, people come in, and this is defending my territory. Since when is this his territory? He he <laughs> he conquers the Arabia Peninsula. See, you are not answering why I am attacking caravan. If I am a good prophet, I am a man of God. People come in with their goods, with their money, with their food. With their women with their children and they are traveling from place to place what kind of a prophet he attacked the caravan if you if you have your own territory you can what territory it. who made it who made it his territory by conquering so if, if this is your territory you steal the people in your territory are you saying that to me because now i conquer it i can steal you so now if i attack an area i i will put my men in the highway okay we control this area anyone walk in the highway we take his wallet you know, if you have your territory, <laughs> for example, now you, you, you have your own good, you want to travel from this country to another, you go to the customs. If you don't go, they will. Yeah, but the customs don't take my they don't take my wallet, my friend. Of course, they will take everything. If no, you don't pay. no, okay, you are wasting my time anyway. Let me let me let me make it simple. 
Now, if I want to learn about Islam, what Islam for you? How we can Islam? learn about it? <laughs> you, you read the Quran? Okay, the Quran in front of me. It says, kill the Christians. Kill the Christian at that time. Oh, so read about Islam. If you want to learn about Islam, read the Quran. Read the Quran. Yes. It says, kill the Christian. It says, kill the Christian at that time. Show me where it says that. It's a history book. My friend, it show me show me one place where your prophet, he says you killed him only now, not later. No, at that time. My friend, explained. stop lying. Stop uh, stop lying. Isn't it your prophet, he ordered you to go and to kill them wherever you find them? What about taking us as a friend? Can you take me as a friend <clears throat> in Islam? No, you, you are my enemy. And see, so here we go. So it's not about this time because until now. I know that you, you so don't want you, me to, you just say, you just say it. Friend. You just said I am your enemy. Why? Because simply your prophet he said to you, you can kill. You should kill me. So if you see me so now, you in, if you see, if you right. see me in person, you want to kill me, right? No, no, no. I'm Why not? Are you a coward? What's wrong with you? Because I know that I have a chance to transform you into Islam. Transform what? To transform your thinking. Ah, okay, you keep trying. Do you know how many Muslims left Islam because of me last month? I know, I know. Okay, so how you think but you can do that I to me? You you're a prophet himself, is not a Muslim. Even your, even the Quran says to Muhammad, if you don't believe you are a prophet, go and ask Christian friends. Yes, yeah, there was Satan that making him doubt. You know, Satan oh, okay, so you are saying to me that your prophet he was possessed by Satan, correct? No, you know, Satan is a a spirit that is in around every human being so, so why there. why muhammad he have a doubt that he's a prophet what's wrong with him he's not sure he's talking with satan satan is coming try to disturb him in his mission oh okay and what like uh, you do. if shaitan he did that to me how that i will believe shaitan you are saying to me that he start believing shaitan yeah he's powerful okay so shaitan. muhammad he converted to the religion of shaitan let me ask you did your prophet he said that shaitan he gave him command and he ordered him yes how he how he is following allah but shaitan is commanding him yeah just a human being who try to show that he is an example if shaitan can subdue so him you want to show that you're an example by following shaitan no just to show that we as people human being we are not less than a human being even you my friend you my friend okay did jesus did, 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 right? did jesus obey the shaitan and he did commit sin as shaitan told him to do no okay why Muhammad, why muhammad he can receive command from shaitan then because he's a human being as but you and i thought you are saying to me that jesus is a human being too no jesus is not a human being so what he is he is a spirit Jesus is a spirit. That's interesting. Spirit of what? Of God. Okay. Well, I agree with you. The Quran says that. Even the Hadith says that. So Jesus is the spirit of God. Does that mean he's holy? Of course he is. Okay. So now me and you, we came to agreement that Muhammad is not holy. He's a thief. And Jesus is holy. If a person is a holy, is a spirit of God and he's holy, is the spirit of God divine? Proceeding from God, he must be. Okay, so Jesus is divine. Yes. Okay, just you became a Christian, my friend. No. Well, you just said that Jesus is divine. I, I believe in, in Jesus. I, I, I love Jesus. I know Jesus. I, 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 I appreciate what he has taught us. My friend, everybody heard you, that you just said yep. that Jesus mm -hmm. is divine. It's not me who said that, it's you, and you said yes. Okay, now explain to me how Jesus is divine. Go ahead. He is divine. Divine means God. What divine mean for you? Yes, he is a part of God. Okay. Spirit so you are. So how how you say to me you want to be me you want to make me a Muslim five minutes ago and now you became a Christian because you just believe that Jesus is God. No, I want you to accept Islam also is a, a word of God. We cannot accept Islam the word of God because the Islam does not say that Jesus is divine. But it is said he is spirit of god and proceed from god. Uh, this is uh, that's because muhammad is very confused in one hand he says jesus is just a prophet and in one hand he says jesus is spirit of god thank you very much so this yes, is a, this, right. this is a contradiction in the quran do you agree if you if you like so
No, it's not about a like. So I'm asking for your opinion. You are adult, not a kid. Do you agree that this contradiction? Because it cannot be both. Either you say that Jesus is not God, not divine, or Jesus is divine. So once he says that Jesus is the messenger of Allah, and that's all. And then in another verse, he says he is the yeah, spirit he of, is Allah. of Allah. Huh? He is missing. He is a messenger because he brought word from Allah, and he t taught people to be as holy as they can. So, so he is a messenger. What kind of messenger? A divine messenger? Coming from God. Is he a divine messenger? Yes, everything he said come from the Father. This is another question. Is he a divine? Because you said to me, Jesus is divine. So now you are saying to me, he's a messenger. So that means he is a divine messenger, correct? Yes. Okay, that means he's God who came to us by himself. That that would make him messenger. Yeah, God is okay. able to do so. That. Jesus is God who came to us by himself. Welcome to Christianity, my friend. Are you willing to accept Jesus as your savior? I I, I have always respected Jesus. I have no I'm not asking you about respecting, I'm asking you to believe in him because you just said to me of course, that you I believe, believe in him. I hey. believe his thought. You he's believe his him. you believe his okay. God. Okay, you believe his God. Do in you, any way, he is the no. spirit of God. This is another question. Do you believe that Jesus is your God? I believe what I believe, I'm gonna tell you. Okay. Do you believe that Jesus is your God? Jesus as we know him from history he is a human being with the spirit of god coming to teach people word of god aren't you two minutes ago you said to me he's divine yes he okay so let us focus together my friend is he divine or a human being he's a human being as we see it in history okay so in, okay so he's divine in the flesh of a human being correct what is the energy that is uh, making him move and accomplish the job he's uh, uh, forget about the energy we're talking about the fuel now i'm asking you the man in front of us is jesus but yet god is in that man he is divine so he is divine in the flesh of man correct yes the spirit of god is in him okay so the man the flesh Yet he is a flesh of a man, but inside him there is God, correct? Yes, okay. the spirit of God. Thank you very much. That means Muhammad is a liar. In the Quran, you'd find that he is a spirit proceeding from God. My right? friend, isn't it the Quran says that Jesus is just a messenger? But he said mm -hmm. he is a spirit that proceeds from the the Almighty. Correct, God. correct. And that is a contradiction in the same in the same time Muhammad he got himself busted. I agree with you So if he is a messenger, but yet he is a spirit that's mean that he is the word of God who became a man For he is the message. He is the messenger and he is the the, the spirit of God in the same time Correct The spirit of God. Yes, that's okay. Spirit of but God. and he is the word of God in the same time, correct? Yes, he is a word of God. He okay, so let us let us see together what Jesus is according to what you what we just agree me and you. You say that Jesus is the word of God. He mm -hmm. is a spirit of God. Yes, and he is a messenger of God. That's right. And that he still he is divine after all, correct? Uh, if everything is from God, this is divine. No, uh, make it simple for me. Confirm. Is he divine? Because we, you already you said that already. I'm just confirming. So he is divine. So let's agree with something. Hmm. Is the Bible divine? This is not a question now. Don't change the topic. No, no. I would like to understand. What no, the, 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 when you say the, when we say the word of God, we are talking about a specific thing. That is God Himself, who is and His Word is one. So the Word of God became a flesh. The Word of God is the is the is the, is the ability of God, is the power of God, is, is the will of God. That is Jesus, the Messiah, the Christ. He is the Word of God. So the Word of God became a flesh, and the Word of God was with God, and the Word is God. So the Quran says that Jesus is the Word of God, and He yes. became a human being, a messenger, and yet He is proceeding as a spirit from God. Okay, so now we have a three in one according to the Quran. Yeah, the word, the man, and the spirit. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. the The word of God is eternal, correct? Yes. Okay, that means Jesus is eternal, and the spirit of God is eternal, correct? Yes. Okay. Now, what about the flesh of the man? Is it is it eternal? 
pilverum as pilverum reverters. So Jesus now until now, according to Islam, is still he's alive, right? He is in two thousand years, but still he's alive in the heaven, right? Yes. So he's enjoying the eternal life of of of, of, of heaven. Uh, so so uh, as we see as we see in your Quran and according to you, we we come to a conclusion that the Messiah, the Christ, is the Word, is the man the, uh, as a flesh, and he is the Spirit of God and a three in one, and he is God. Yeah. If you if you understand that. <laughs> God is a name hmm. and a divine is adjective hmm. so everything that proceed from God hmm. should consider as divine hmm. how many divine you have then in this case is it only like God only divine or there's many divine one divine <clears throat> and things proceeding from him will be qualified as divine Okay, how many but things are proceeding God, from him? They are the God. If there's anyone beside Jesus is proceeding from him. But they, we cannot consider as God. But you just said, okay, so divine is not God for you? Is something that <coughs> proceeds from God. <coughs> One part or something of God. No, oh, okay. Is divine. It's an adjective. Okay. So, qualified. Okay, so. But, but, the name when, of when we say that Jesus is divine, when we say that Jesus is divine proceeding from God, <coughs> my friend, the book is Christian Prince book, so it's proceed from your knowledge. It's your book, but it's not you. Maybe it's your your thought, your your thinking, your philosophy, and something like that. Yeah, but the, but the story here is different, my friend. Jesus is a word who is talking and walking and living word. Is not yes, a word written in a word. Okay, so so Jesus is your the book, living. For example, okay, for example, Jesus book, is the living, walking, talking word talk. of God. Yeah. Listen, listen. Let's yeah. make it simple. Let's make it simple. Yeah. Jesus is the, is the living, walking, talking word of God. Do you agree? Yeah, everything comes from okay, God. Okay, so that I... that will not compare him to as something written in a book because he is alive. This word is alive. Okay, and he is divine, and divine means he's holy, and divine means eternal. Is that correct? Yeah, eternal. Okay, an eternal mean there's no beginning, there's no end. Do you agree? No end. Okay. Yes. That is God. So Jesus is God for you. Yeah, everything from from somewhere. Okay, from so God. now you have to reject Muhammad as a prophet, my friend. You accepted Jesus as God. Jesus is everything, everything of Jesus is from God. We don't deny it. This is not the question. You just said you just agreed a second ago. You just said to me that Jesus is God. You said yes. So Jesus is God. I, everything of Jesus is from God. No, is Jesus is God? You said yes. This is what you said to me. Is Jesus Himself God? Yes or no? Jesus is <coughs> of God. That's not the question. There's nothing is called of God. What of God? I am of God too. But you are not as holy as He is. Okay, me but, too. But this is not the question. When you say is holy, I am, I am not holy at all. What what holy have to do with me? You know. Jesus yeah, is holy. I am not. Listen, listen. <coughs> you are on earth to try to be as holy as possible. No, no, no. I, there's no. They, we are not holy. We are not holy. We are not holy. We are sinners. We, we try. No, no. This it is doesn't a, matter. Doesn't man. matter. Doesn't matter. We are not holy. Of but, course. Yeah. Okay. Why are you but this right is not. Now? But this but, is. But, but now. But now you confirm. You okay. Right you remember. Remember. You see. You are confusing yourself. What? what I ask you. Now? I ask you. Is Allah, is Muhammad? Is Muhammad holy, my friend? My friend. What is the reason you are on YouTube? Is Muhammad holy? Yes or no? Okay, my question now I have to ask you hmm. why are you every day on YouTube making this? Not because broadcast? I'm holy, not because I'm holy. I'm just trying. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, it's not because you are holy, hmm. because you have one aim. Yeah. And the aim What's is to help aim? people like you, to help them to come to Christ. For what? To come to Christ, to, to, to come, save you. If you come to Christ, what, what benefit it will be? You just said that Jesus is divine. He would be the, with the holy divine. Yes, that's okay. the reason. So that you want to okay. be divine, so you want to be holy. No, not, not me, divine, not me, not me. No, no, no. I want you to be no, with no, the holy. Me. I want you to be with the holy, not to be holy. All the disciples. You, will, you will not be holy. You are a human, you are a sinner. <coughs> no, no, no. You try to be. Right. That's why the Bible says be holy like your father, which means it's a project to work in, but you are not yes, holy. That's, that's okay. the reason I say All right. try. But this is not the question now. This is not the question. This is not the question, man. Now, as long Jesus is holy this and is Jesus is like Jesus, Jesus, you see, something. Jesus is God or not? The second you say Muhammad is not holy, do you agree? Yeah, he okay. is a proper human being. How many holy we have in this world beside Jesus? Can you name them for me? 
I have no idea. So you can name only one name for me. That is the Messiah. Yes, that's that's it. So he is God, God. because he is the only one is holy. <laughs> he, he is of God. Did so you you God keep saying to me of God. What of God? He is holy. God is holy. He is of God. What of God? I asked you. Okay, I asked you name for me. One person is holy beside Jesus. You could not. So he is the only God, and he is the only holy, according to you. But well, he is. He <coughs> come from the Father, right? My friend, as long as he is father? holy, it doesn't matter where he's coming from. There, there's, there's a, you see, where, in, where in, in Christianity, in, the, in Christianity, in Christianity, Please, even even question. angels, they were fallen well, angels. Answer my question. Hmm. Where is the Father? The father is in where he is. I don't know. I mean, it's not. He did not give me location. He's is is the creator of everything. So how I can tell you where, where is he? He's everywhere. Because Jesus, he said, every one of you mention my name, I will be the third. I will be between you. So he's with us right now. He's existing everywhere. In the same time, we cannot see him. So where is the Father? He's exist. Yes, he exists. But where is he? Well, he's he's with us now, right now. Every two of you mention my name. I will be between you. I will be, I will hear you. So he's with us right now. So when you tell that Jesus come from the Father, so mm. he was somewhere before he came to us. No, it's not about ah, somewhere. He is everywhere. You see, our God is Almighty, so He can be everywhere. You asking me a while ago, where is Jesus? I told you He is in heaven. Now I'm you asking you as a Muslim. I'm asking you as a Muslim. How about you? I, I, my, my, I me. I said to you, every two mention my name, I will be. I will be the third, which means I am exist everywhere, and I can hear you everywhere. So I will be the third. It means that he was not here. No, it's mean I hear you. I'm here. He did not come. He did not. He do not need to come. I, he's with us. So any two of you mention my name. I, I'm listening. <laughs> you don't I need to go be. anywhere. I, I am here. I am with you. Everyone, every two of you mention my name. I am. I will be between you. I will be with you. So he mentioned my name. I am with you. As simple as that. So God so is exists everywhere. You, is mean that uh, my spirit is with you. <clears throat> my friend, God, our God is a spirit. Your God is not a spirit. You know that or not? God is a spirit. No, the God of Islam is not a spirit. Why do you say that? Well, how can I, I operate? <laughs> my friend, the Muslims they reject actually. If you believe that Allah has a spirit, they will kill you. So what is he? You ask the Muslims. He is just a physical being. He have legs. He have eyes. He have shin, he have face, he have uh, fingers, he have uh, uh, foot, but he don't have a spirit. He's a dead body. And he has all this power to transform half of the... He have no power. Who said Allah has any power? Allah is a, is a shish kebab name. It's not exist. What power? Where is the power of Allah? How can you explain? My friend, in the name of my Allah, friend all uh, this let me ask you. Let me ask you. Do Allah have a body? Yes or no? Did you hear my question? Did, do Allah have a body? Yes or no? Did you hear my question? Uh, before I want to get the answer clearly, yeah. because obviously you do not know what Your Allah is about. Question, you ask me, do Allah have a body? Yes or no? Allah is not a spirit. Allah is so not a spirit. A Allah is not a spirit. So I'm want. I want you to answer this question. Mm. How a person who is not a spirit has no power can, in his name, transform a whole world into Islam. Where does it come from? My friend, he transformed nothing and, and and the whole world is collapsing, is not transforming to Islam, as you see. Muslim themselves. You were born my friend, years my friend, years my friend, what are you talking about? What are you talking Muslim. about? There's no Muslim between Muslims. Muslims themselves are leaving Islam. Look at you. You claim that to be a Muslim. You call me. You do not know if Allah is a spirit or not. There is not a single Muslim in the world believe that Allah is a spirit. So how you say the whole world is Islam? What Islam? We are three times more, more than you. The Christians, they are three times in, in, in numbers more than you. And we did not say the whole world transformed to Christianity. That is no, very, no, no. That is I, very I silly you. of you. My friend, this is not the power of Allah. This is the power of stupidity. People do not know. People, they breed, they bring kids, they have babies. And Muslims, they marry four wives and they divorce and they marry. But this is not, this is not about... Uh, now, uh, how can you explain people converting in you? Because they are stupid. They will leave Islam as soon as they, they, they come to me and they learn from me. As it simple is as that. Every year. The same as you. You just left Islam. It is increasing every year. Believing it's, it's increasing. No, it's it's no. That's not true. According to Al Jazeera, sixteen thousand Muslims leave Islam every day. Every day. Every day. Six hundred sixty-six, according to Al Jazeera, every hour. Go and search right now. This is an old video, actually, by Al Jazeera, by a program. It's called the Sharia al Hayat, the Sharia Law and Life. 
16,000 they are crying and screaming how 16,000 live in Islam every day in America all those who converted to Islam in many like in the whole year is not going to be 20,000 and the one who leave Islam is a lot more the biggest church in USA of convert is Iranian church hundreds of thousands of Iranian they left Islam and they are Christians go and check so what are you talking about the son of Hamas founder is an ex-muslim 1600 16,000 they leave Islam every day every day so if you multiply it for one year you six millions six millions exactly this they said that in the program shows it you will see they said that if you speak Arabic listen to it it says six millions a year six million a year six million a year yeah so it means that in 10 years we'll have 60 million People already you have more but because this is this is uh, uh, a few years ago so if you calculate like this, my friend my friend in Indonesia we, uh, in Indonesia we used to have zero Christians don't you know that in 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 in, uh, in Saudi Arabia like in this coming week we have uh, an interview with between me and the brother al-fadi who was a Saudi we have tons of uh, Saudi leaving Islam left and right they became Christians so you, you obviously you have no idea what's happening. You Muslims live in Islam like crazy. Islam is collapsing, my friend. Islam is not growing as they claim. And even so, those, uh, even I those who convert to Islam, even those who convert to Islam, they stay a year, two years, three years, and then they leave Islam and they expose Islam. There's a guy in YouTube, very well known. He used to call himself convert to Islam. And then after being 16 years as a Muslim, <laughs> he make a okay. channel. It's called Don't Convert to Islam. <laughs> yeah, I he speak very good Arabic. Okay, so here we go. He converted to Islam 16 years as a Muslim, and now he became an enemy of Allah because now he learned how stupid this cult is. So what the point? Yeah, it's a little bit uh, confusing. But okay, anyway. my friend, let us go back to zero. <clears throat> you say you say that Jesus is divine, and he is eternal, and he is the Word of God, and he is the Spirit of God, and everything in Jesus is from God. Correct. Yes. Okay. Now you never saw God, but you have Jesus. So the only yeah. way for you to believe in God is to believe in Jesus, because Muhammad is a man who is dead. Muhammad is a sinner, so he's not trustworthy. Muhammad is a cheater; he cheated his wives. The Quran report that in chapter of At-Tahrim. Muhammad is a thief and accused to be stolen underwear. Muhammad was a, a liar. Muhammad, 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 child molester. So we ha what, what do you have for your salvation except Jesus, my friend? No, I know that Jesus is coming back. It is it is programmed. He is coming back to my friend. To rest. Who is going to save you except Jesus? This is the question. Do you have anyone to save you except Jesus? Allah. Allah. Where is Allah? <laughs> he's, he's everywhere. My friend, your your God is not everywhere. Here we go. The Hayes says that Allah He come down every third of the night. To ask the Muslims who is praying, what what do you mean he's everywhere? You see, this is the difference between Jesus and no, your God. It's, Hold on, it's a way of my friend, my friend. Did did, did I say to you five minutes ago that if we two of us mention his, his name, he would be between us? Yes or no? Yes. He okay. Us. So why Muhammad? This is God. This is in order for Jesus to be to do that, he have to be God because you cannot be everywhere. Every two of you mention their name, you can hear them and you are with them, but your God. Your prophet said that your God Allah come every third part of the night from the seventh heaven to the lowest heaven, and he says, Who is going to who is praying for me? Who is asking for forgiveness? So your God, he cannot hear us if we now, me and you and talking, he cannot. No, he is it is a way to 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 make people figure out how these things work so that they can I mean what do you mean a uh, figure away? It says Allah he come down every third part of the night. Yes, yeah, the spirit of Allah. There's no spirit of Allah. What's wrong with you, my friend? There's Allah has no spirit. Stop saying that. Okay, I want to give you five minutes to go and search Google. Can you do me a favor? Search Google, yeah. search Google and find if Allah has a spirit and then call me back. And you will see I'm not lying to you, my friend. In Islam, there's Allah has no spirit. Allah is a physical being. Allah is a physical person. He has no spirit. He have a body, but he is not a spirit. We will crave to see the voice of Allah. A prophet said, "The face of Allah we would like to see." So Allah has a body, but not like you and mine. Thank you very much. So Allah has a body, but not like you and mine. 
Ah, uh, you're talking with Zakar Naik. No, I'm not talking. This is what Zakar Naik himself talking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know, so my friend, your God Allah, you can go and check right now. I'm not lying to you. I have no reason to lie to you. There's a guy from Morocco. His name is Nightmare. He think he knows Islam. Fifty years old, and the idiot. He do not know that his God is a spirit. So he's challenging me. And I said to him the same as I said to you. And then he went in Google and he searched and he said, yes, I was wrong. Allah has no spirit. So you see, this is why I say there's no Muslims between the Muslims. Morocco and Saudi and etc. They do not know even if their God is a spirit or not. So you worship whom you do not know. You are just a fake Muslim. You have no idea. A Muslim is a person who knows who is his God. At least knows who is your God first before you pray for him. So you spend 50 years of your life, you do not know if your God is a spirit or not. And now you call me and you say to me that my God is a spirit, people will laugh at you. But he is a being, he has something. He's a being, and the, you are right, he's a being, he's a physical being, he's an idol because a, a, a body without a spirit is dead body. But spirit, spirit, my, could, my friend, spirit could, is the power of life. <laughs> spirit is the power of life. So when we see even in your Quran, this is how we see your Quran is, when, when supposedly Allah, he created Adam, he copied from the Old Testament, that God, he breathed into the mud and he made it living a creature. The breathe is giving life. That is the power of life. So your God, Allah, when, when, the, when the people, they ask Muhammad, what is the spirit? He said, I do not know. The spirit is from the command of my Lord. Only Allah knows. Because Muhammad, you don't even know what the spirit is. It's a secret, right? No, it's not a secret. What secret? What is a secret? The people are asking you, secret to who? People, they are asking you, what is a spirit? And you are a prophet of God. Can't you tell us what is the spirit? Yes. Chapter 17, verse number 85. Muhammad, after two weeks, squeezing his ass, scratching his head, he come with the answer only Allah knows. Yes, this is a secret of Allah. What secret? Okay, you are Allah. You are the one Allah is talking. <laughs> What do you mean? Okay, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. <laughs> All right, my friend. Find the answer. Feel free to call me anytime you wish. Okay, thank you. All right. Oh. <laughs> uh. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> That's a good one. What a secret, man. They are asking you concerning the spirit. See, the spirit by is by the command of my Lord. Where is the answer? <laughs> I mean, this guy, he went to school. He studied for 10 weeks. He asked all the neighbors. He asked the friends. He questioned. He asked, Jibreel, Jibreel, help me. Do something, Jibreel. And then Jibreel, he got him this. Where is the answer? I mean, how stupid is even to say that? But because people, they keep saying to them, we asked you, what is the answer? What is the spirit? Muhammad, you have to give an answer. And there's no God speaking to him. He's a liar. So in the, the easiest answer to say, uh, Allah knows. The spirit is from the command of my God. And you have no knowledge. Okay, This is what we are asking you because we have no knowledge. Teach us. The funny this guy he's supposed to trying to convert me but he is the one he end accepting jesus as god <laughs> isn't it funny <laughs> he want me to believe in islam but he before he leave he admitted that jesus is god and he is divine he is the word of god he is the spirit of god and he is eternal what is left <laughs> And my friend, Islam is a growing. A growing where? I mean, what are you talking about? Which country is practicing Islam anyway? In Morocco? Or in Algeria? Or in Egypt? Or in Syria? Or in Tunisia, where they forbid even, they are thinking to forbid the Quran? Where, where, where Islam is practiced? In Kazakhstan, where the Quran is forbidden? Hmm? Maybe in Turkey, in Erdogan, where the nightclubs are open 24 hours and women, they are wearing bikini in the street. Where is Islam? Show me Islam. I want to see it. You see, remember, Islam is a state and government and religion at the same time. You cannot say to me, oh, those people are doing that. 
so if you cannot establish a state of Islam it's mean Islam is not there Islam is not the same as a Christianity which is a belief not a government Islam is a government and believe in the same time so in order to say we are Muslims you have to establish an Islamic state Isis when Isis came to practice the true Islam Muslim themselves they hate it because Isis is bringing the real face of Islam and this is ugly so what you want from Islam you want an Islam by name you do whatever you wish your your wife she wear a jeans and she have five kilograms of makeup and she wear high heels and perfume and she do uh, uh, makeup taking hair from her face which is forbidden in Islam totally she can only in Islam Islam allowed in the Muslim women only to rent her vagina as an example yes but she cannot show her makeup Islam is very conservative you can suck the nipples of a Muslim woman, but you cannot see the face of a Muslim woman. It's time very conservative. You can rent a woman going in the elevator for five dollars, she will take off her panty, but you cannot shake hands with the Muslim woman because Islam is very conservative. So, what are you talking about? What is a growing in Islam? <clears throat> Nothing. In the month of Ramadan, Saudi Arabia is empty. The only one who stayed there is the one who cannot travel and the one who cannot afford it. The whole country is a flying. They fly where? Six countries, six tourism, Thailand, Vietnam. You name it, you know, six. This is, here we go, the Saudi Arabia. You Muslims are very Muslim, very much Islamic, to the point a woman, she cannot walk in the street alone. Otherwise, she will be kidnapped. This is why in Saudi Arabia, a woman, if she walk alone, she will be arrested. After 200 years from women driving, now they allow a Muslim woman to, to drive, but under conditions. Do you know why? Not because you have Islam, but because this is a very dangerous society. Islam made you believe that women they are vagina walking in the vagina walking in the street is like a chicken naked and you don't you don't see a chicken you see a you see a barbecue so when a Muslim man because of Islam he see a, a Muslim woman walking on the street he don't see a woman he see a, a barbecue you want to eat her so what Islam are you talking about what is Islam The Muslim, they keep talking about numbers, but your numbers doesn't count, my friend. You don't even know who is your God. And those who convert to Islam, they are leaving Islam anyway. You want to see how many people leave Islam? Should I give you the password of my Skype? <laughs> you will go crazy. <laughs> I don't know even to, how to what to do with them. You know, many people want to talk to me. They are they want to leave Islam, but I don't know what to do with them. Too much. Right now, as we speak, you say uh, there's people that are saying to me, I'm an ex-Muslim, I am an ex-Muslim. You don't want to talk to me. But I cannot talk to everybody. That's why I say I want to talk to Muslims. You are ex-Muslim already, my friend. Happy for you. <clears throat> So look at this confused generation of Islam. This guy, he think he's a Muslim, but yet he think that Jesus is God. He think Muhammad is a prophet, but yet he think Jesus is a spirit proceeding from God. He think that Muhammad is saying the truth, but he think in the same time that Jesus is the only one is holy. <laughs> and Muhammad is sinner. <clears throat> you are 90% you are Christian now. All what you need to do, the 10% left is to say, I accept Jesus as my savior. <laughs> what is left <clears throat> and the funny he said he don't want to be my enemy because he thinking to convert me to Islam uh, obviously obviously I am the one who's converting to Islam not you <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
Oh boy. Anyway, we feel sorry for you know this this religion is a stupid religion. <clears throat> you know, Allah is all powerful to the point he think women have a sperm coming from their ribs. Allah is all powerful to the point he cannot even remember what he created first. Allah is all powerful to the point he could not even protect Muhammad from dying from poison, but he can protect Jesus from the Jews. He is very powerful to the point he cannot. The Muslim they keep saying Allahu Akbar. You know, when I watch the Russian fighting ISIS in Syria, now they say to you, Hezbollah is fighting them, etc. Garbage. The one who's fighting them really is, is the Russian. And the, the, the guy, the ISIS guy, he say, Allahu Akbar, that the Prophet, he promised us victory. As long as you have a belief, you will be victorious. <clears throat> and then after five seconds, we will find that all of them became shish kebab. Muhammad, he said, if you say Allahu Akbar, you scare the hell of your enemy. The Russian, they were hunting them like rabbits. And nobody gets scared of your Allahu Akbar. You are shouting Allahu Akbar day and night in the front of Israel. And the Israeli army go anytime, any second inside the middle, the heart of Hamas territory. <coughs> Your Allah Akbar is not working. The Muslims, before the war with Israel, each time they have a war, they launch a huge prayer between all the Muslims around the world to go and pray for victory. They attack, they lose. The same, by the way, as what happened to Muhammad. Muhammad in the war. Muhammad was not really victorious. Muhammad was a failure. Islam grow. Big deal after Muhammad died. Uh, <clears throat> Muhammad was able to establish his religion in the Arabian Peninsula, but not really outside. Uh, If you go in the Quran, you will see the Quran promising the Muslims that if there's 100 of you have a, a patient and they are preserved, you will vanquish 1,000. Okay. The Muslim, they went to fight and they got busted. So Muhammad right away, he said to them, now Allah, he found that you have a weakness on you. He have a weakness. Allah, he just found a weakness on you. So because you have a weakness, Allah will just change the number from 100 to fight 1,000. 100 will fight uh, 200, which means the mistake Allah, he did here uh, is, is what? Is a huge. Read it. <clears throat> Muhammad, he is telling the Muslims, Allah told me to say that to you, to encourage you to go to fight because 20 of you can conquer two, uh, 200. What does that mean? It means everyone can fight 10 people and can win. The Muslims, they win, they got busted. They came back and they knew now, the Muslims, they knew that Muhammad is a scam. So look what Muhammad right away he did. Now Allah has lightened your burden for he knew that there is a weakness in you. So if there is be of you steadfast, hundred, they shall overcome two hundred. Hold on. The verse before it, it was twenty can overcome two hundred. Now one hundred can overcome two hundred. So what is was the mistake? What was the mistake? From one can fight ten to one can fight two. Don't Allah knows that they cannot do it from the beginning? Why he changed it? Now he found your weakness. Allah, he found the weakness now. So good news for you. I'm going to enlighten your task. I thought you cannot make it can make it, it turned to be you cannot make it. And I am God worship me. 
the God of Israel, he promised them victory. Even the army fighting them is bigger than them, scary, terrifying, and he brought them victory. If God is with, with me in this war, who can be against me even if I am one person alone? So here we have a God speaking, not a prophet. God is speaking, saying, I will give you victory. All what we need is just a 20 can kill 200. What is this? Allah now he found weakness on you so he changed the task how that can be why that person is posting her for her phone number uh, Rebecca do you are you looking for a date here you would have a lot of Abduls A lot of customers here. <clears throat> get your credit card. Get get uh, get your scam ready. <clears throat> anyway, uh, we are not going to stay longer here. We have enough for now. Uh, tomorrow we have supposed to a debate with the guy. He claimed to be a, a scholar from Nigeria, but he is no one. But you know, Lord have mercy. What we can do? We have to deal with all those kids, as you see. They don't even know if their God is a spirit or not. They have no idea what they are talking about. Thank you, my friend, for all those who they are from Indonesia. I love you all. Uh, and we support you, my friend. We support you. Stay strong and be, be faithful. The Lord is with you. Don't make them intimidate you by their numbers. You will be victorious, and Indonesia will come to Christ, all of it. It's just a matter of time. Last year I went, you know, I went to China, and uh, I saw what's happening in China. China is coming to Christ as you will never believe. You know, for me, before I go for the first time in China, I thought China is a communist country. This is what they told us, and this is what we know. But you go there, you will see how huge the Christian community and how fast it's growing. They speak about Islam is growing. You have no idea what growing means. China is the coming giant a Christian. And you will see amazing transformation of China. The Chinese government are trying their best to stop Christianity. They 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 destroy churches. They they don't give them license to build churches. They do everything they can. They 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 arrest the Christians. Uh, they harass them. They kick them out of their jobs if they knew that they are Christians. And it's still a Christianity is the biggest belief ever you can imagine growing so fast same as what happened in south korea and just wait in the in north korea we are waiting for the border to be lifted and the whole north korea by the will of the lord will be, be we became believer in christ my friend christianity is a solution for mankind it's not nothing brought nothing but disaster and bloodshed whatever this cult goes bloodshed goes go and watch what's happening in syria muslims killing muslims as we speak now, this is Islam. Allahu Akbar, they kill each other. Saudi Arabia, Egypt, you name it, wherever you go, wherever Islam Islam is exist, peace run away. And Muslims themselves are sick of it. At the end of the day, Muslims are people like us. They want to have a family, they want to have a peaceful life, and they could not find any justice in this cult. It's a cult after power. It's like the alien. They want to suck energy. Everything about it is about power. This is what they say to you. We want to dominate the world. This is why you see the Muslims, they are willing to donate thousands of billions of dollars to build the churches in the West. But they will not send money to feed Somalian babies dying from hunger. They are willing to spend $300 million to build a mosque, small mosque closed from the trade center. But they don't have money to feed babies dying in Somalia or in Africa. Why? Because this is a religion seeking power. So they say to themselves, if we can convert America, then who care about the rest? Let the rest die. We, con we convert the whole world. We will have the power of America and we can conquer the whole world. It's a power, satanic power religion. They don't care really for, for poor countries. 
and if they go there they go there for tourism go watch watch the videos of uh, Mimi uh, Mimi and uh, his nurse uh, uh, Ali Dawa <clears throat> they are going to Tanzania I think in Africa and they have food in the front of them and they are wearing fancy clothes between the African and they are eating when they are talking about God because this is tourism for them they are tourists they are literally tourists they are paid they are making good money just to go there and then they are dry, dressing very nice clothes eating they keep eating uh, you know a, a bunch of white Arab boys standing there speaking about God while they are eating and wearing fancy clothes and they are lecturing the, the African about God <clears throat> you know no in Germany Islam is not a growing in Germany you, you have a stupid government who invited more than two million uh, uh, immigrant in, in in two years so very uh, very easy to notice it Two millions, you know, over 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 a year, we have two millions. That's what's happening. This is not the growth of uh, of Islam. This is the growth of uh, of stupidity. You have a counselor who opened the borders, and everybody is coming. You know, and by the way, not only Muslims. I mean, Germany. I believe in in fifty years from now, there's no German will believe in will be exist in Germany. Is going to be immigrant from everywhere, not necessarily Muslims. Actually. I believe that the ones that's coming to Germany from non-Muslims is more than Muslims. You know, a lot of African who they are Christians coming to Germany too. So when you have, you see, me myself an immigrant, me myself, I am an immigrant, but I don't support stupidity. If America right now opened the borders for everybody to come to America, America will not be America no more. America will turn China <laughs> overnight. <laughs> Is that correct, guys? I mean, if you are a stupid, this is stupid. What we can do? O open your borders now. Let us say, if Canada decide to open the borders, every everybody from any poor country, from, even from my land, I mean, people they will come from everywhere. It's your fault. <clears throat> that is not a religion growing. That is immigration, and that is the stupidity of the Western government. They became too much liberals to the point if you say I want to have a border, it's a shame. That is very stupid. People who lose their identity, they lose their countries. I will not be surprised if the president of Germany in, in after 50 years from now is going to be from, you know, Tanzania or Gabon. Why not? You know, there's no more German. Because the, the numbers of people who are coming uh, uh, is a lot bigger than the, the, the way you make babies. And those people who come from those countries, even the Christians ones, they 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 uh, they like to have families. They have babies. You don't have babies. So, by immigration and by birth rate, they will overcome the population of the real original people. So I believe soon in Germany, if 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 the German don't change the way they they live, uh, Germany will have no German. It's going to be called Germany, but there's no German when you walk in the street. You know. As simple as that. <clears throat> I don't, you know, for me, uh, the the uh, Islamic migration, immigration is very normal. People, they seek better life. So if you open your borders, it's your problem. You know? You know, look at Europe. Europe is suffering from a lot of problems, and yet they want to, they want to have more immigrant. But look at for France. You know, people, they, they, they are suffering from unemployment. People, they are burning cars for the last two months in France because tax is too high, government is not doing a good job, etc. And then you want a more more immigrant? At least to take care of your citizen first. But what you can say, I mean, stupidity. Right? <clears throat> you know, I believe Europe uh, is suffering from loss of identity because of the liberalism. And when you don't have identity, you are no one. In America, they try to do the same. We have Obama for eight years, was fighting anyone, uh, uh, even to say the word God. Christmas, they want to delete the word of Christmas. Um, uh, if you say I am an American, American is not, a, you should not say. A child, he wear the American flag, go to school, they kick him out from the school. But if you wear a Mexican flag or 
or a Jordanian flag or Saudi flag you are welcome you are a good person but if you wear American flag you are a bad person have you ever heard of a country if you wear your flag you are a bad person and you are not welcome <laughs> I mean, that is the stupidity of liberalism they have mental issues if you don't teach your child to love his country and his flag who is going to defend this country tomorrow if something happened the immigrants immigrants who speak their own language who don't care for your language anytime there's a danger happen in your country they will flee because they are here for a reason to make money and better life not to defend the country so who is going to defend the country real citizen See, for me, I love this country. And actually, I did join the USA Army. Maybe many of you do not know. This is how much I love the country. So, but majority, majority of immigrants, when something wrong happened, they are in America just because America is money back. If something wrong happened in America, they will be the first to flee back and they call it back home. For me, I don't have back home. This is my home. America is my home. I don't want to have a back home. I have no other home except this country. I want to live. I want to die here. So, but how many of the immigrants, they do that? Maybe some, but, you know, maybe a lot of them, they don't. This is why you see many of them, they don't even want to speak the language of America. They want to keep their own language because simply they are not interested to be American. And your system encouraging them to do that. So you can be in America, you can be an Arab, and you can take an exam for a driver license in Arabic. Okay, hold on. Driving test in Arabic, but he live in America. What he would do with the Arabic? And why he have to take it in Arabic? Why he have to take it in Spanish? <clears throat> Is this a Spanish or Arabic country? I saw a, a Filipino woman, she make a case in the hospital in California, she is trying to force the whole hospital to speak Filipinos. <laughs> Those things only happen in the West, my friend. Stupidity, amazing. You go to a country, you know, you don't force people to speak your language. You are the minority and you are going, you are an immigrant to their country. And now you want to force them to speak your language? I don't blame them. If you are a stupid, I mean, why I would take, I will not take advantage of you. So I'll go to your country. I, I change your culture, I change your heritage, and then you will see in Europe that, that, that there's some Muslims coming here, they say they are offended from pork festival. So what we do, we have a pork festival for the last 700 years. Just because a Muslim he is getting offended, we will stop it. So now we are changing the country for the one who's coming to our country, when it should be the opposite. I go to your country, I should dress like you. I should talk like you. You gave me citizenship, you gave me a passport to be an American, not to be an Arab. I can say I am an Arab American, but I cannot say just I am an Arab. But in the Western countries, because of the stupidity, they want you to stay the way you came from back home and they call it multiculture. But there's nothing, it's called multiculture. This is why they are seeking civil war in the future. You will see the society is divided. More immigrants they come, they, li they live by own. So let us see, uh, you go in France, you will see a territory is only for Moroccan, a territory only for Algerian, a territory only for Somalian, a territory only for Lebanese, a territory. So where, where is the society? You don't have, you are dividing your society by your stupid rules. And then one day they will go for war with each other because you have many society inside the society. As simple as that. <clears throat> you see, I don't, uh, I don't agree with Trump in many things, but Trump he did many, many good things. As an example, Obama was a president for the last eight years, and uh, the African American nobody cared for them. Trump, in the last two months, he made a very special law to increase investment in poor areas, owned or let us say, uh, the majority of it is black people. So now billions of dollars will be invested in those areas. Why, how he did that? Very simple, very smart. He said, if you invest in that area, tax free for the coming 10 years. So this is how the white man, Trump, who they accuse him to be KKK, he's racist, he did. But Obama, 
the African supposedly he never did anything good to the African so now they are assuming that I don't know how many billion trillion dollar will be invested in areas which is poor nobody even want to live there because now he gave them tax heaven imagine if you own a business in this area you pay tax free for 10 years that's impossible in America that's a lot of money you know so <clears throat> You will see a lot of companies moving there, and the black, uh, uh, the black society, African society, they will they will flourish, and their the education will be better, and then nobody will be uh, uh, doing crimes. You know, when you are poor, you do crimes. If you are wondering why they have a higher uh, uh, have a high percentage of crimes, because most of them they are poor and there's no education. Give them education, take care of them, they will live better, and they will have better life. When you are poor, you have nothing to lose. You already you have nothing so what do you want to do you take me to jail <laughs> at least I will not be homeless so <clears throat> Western countries they have to change the way they think and the way they they run their countries but until that happen God knows what will happen however I believe that the good thing is that there's a lot of uh, uh, new generations they are getting awake of what's happening and I believe Europe will change. I don't want Europe to be a racist place, but the change, it might be for good, it might be for bad, which means, I believe there's there's two kinds of a change will happen. There's people who they are racist, they will, they will increase by number, and this is something I don't like. And there's people who they are nationalist, they will increase by number, and I support that. You know because pe people they should love their country as simple as that to be a national does not make you a racist you love your country which means anyone who live in your country he you should love his country as simple as that all of us we are citizen and we are equal racism is something we hate you discriminate people by religion by color by ethnic by language that is rejected you know so uh, 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 when when people they they uh, uh, they try to find a solution, they have to be smart. And the first the first decision they should do, they should take the privilege, which make people come to your country. Like now, in America, I, like Trump, he want to build the wall. I don't agree with the wall. I support strong border, yes, but the wall is not the reason really for people to. I mean, if you build the wall, still they will come. They will dig end of the wall. They will climb the wall. Still they will come. What about we say if you come to America and you are not legal immigrant you will never have citizenship and you will never be able to have a job and if somebody gave you a job it would be sentenced let us say for five years in jail and then let us see who's going to give them a job they will go back home we will not give you welfare we will not give you free education we will give you free insurance take all the privilege nobody come <clears throat> It's, you know, uh, uh, Western is like uh, somebody, he put some honey in the side of his window and he wonder why the bees are coming. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you guys understand me? It's very normal. If I am a person coming from a poor country and you say to me, if I come to you with my family, you give me free education for my children. You give me free insurance. Not only that, I will have what even citizens don't have. In America, by the way, if you come as a refugee, you will have a free insurance, which American citizens do not have. They have to pay for it, not for free. So you are a person who don't work in this country, who never been existed in the country. You get it for free. You believe it? So why not? I mean, I don't blame the poor people to come. They are poor. If I am poor, if I have a family, I want to feed, etc., and I want to do, you know, I will cross the borders too. It's not their fault. It's the fault of the stupid system you have. You tell them, if you come to me, I will give you free housing, free insurance, free school. You don't even need to go to work for two years at least. Well, here we go. We are coming. Two-year vacation in USA. You know? <laughs> Once I was in England, and I was looking for an apartment to rent. A guy, he said to me, I will give you my apartment. How much you pay? I said to him, he don't look like he's rich. He said, you have an apartment? He said, yeah, the government, they give it to me for free. So he don't pay for electricity. 
you don't pay for water you don't pay for heat and the apartment is for free and now he rented and he stayed with with, with his friend so this guy he will rent this apartment for a few years and after that he will collect a lot of money from the rent plus he work he don't pay tax because he don't report that he's working plus he take food stamps etc so in five or six years this guy he will go and buy a restaurant and you are the citizen of this country you cannot buy a restaurant you work for him so the one who come to you as a refugee he will be rich very fast and you will work for him washing dishes <laughs> and you are the citizen <laughs> is it his fault it's not his fault you know what i mean it's not the fault of the of, of the immigrant it's the fault of the government the stupid 